Yes, I have. Barely visible. Eh, it depends on your definition of visible. Into the prime. Can't change the air. Ugh. Um. Okay, I was gonna check something. I think it was just the ratio of four and up. Okay, it looks fine enough. I didn't notice the last time I streamed this, it looked weird. Um, because I didn't have, like, I, I learned the problem. I'm not smart enough to figure out, like, or at least explain it to simpler terms. Uh, basically, I was streaming at the wrong um, ratio for my monitor and all that, but. On the using one monitor, it's kind of difficult not to and all that. But here I am. Yo, what's up, Adam? Alright, so... I think I've got everything set up so far. I'm just going to begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk. The Honda run. Him what buttons to push, how long to push them. Oh and God, final boss. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month. It's pretty of difficult. Every year. I struggled as and well. Although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Everything? And Stanley was happy. Yeah, that's good. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. What Something happened? he would never quite forget. What happened? He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from oh. his desk and stepped out of his office. This is a game, but it's a game about choice, though. You can choose... You can simply choose anything. Let me tab back into the game. Hello? <clears throat> Wait, where's my thing? Hello? Wait, where's the game? There it is. Hello. I'm back. 41 for the price of zero? Exactly. Money back guaranteed. No matter what. Alright, let's go. All of his co-workers were what gone. Up, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let's go to the meet. Move that. And move that. So that's better. I have not had the struggle of having to work with two monitors in so long. Help. How do, you, how do people how do people do this? I have to look over at the other monitor and then tab back into the game. This is this is tragic. No wonder why when I just Stanley drew from came console. To a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. I this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'll also be showing off some secrets here and there. <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautiful, but eager to get back to business, Good Stanley one. took the first open door on his left. I'm not going to let him finish everything every time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Will cause death? 
I don't know. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Dong is everywhere, but I'm the only person here. How do you, how do you get, how do you get there? <clears throat> now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Gotcha. Loud and clear. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Loud and All clear, right, boss. Fine. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. <gasps> It's a door. Just what I've wanted. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed Good. developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already the? feels leaps oh? ahead of where we were before. I don't know. Right, <laughs> take it for a spin. Did they, did they just not... Wait. Was this always? Yes, this would have to always be here because this is still base game at the moment. What the? I did not know that. I also learned um, through the speedrun, there's jump storage in this game. And it actually kind of does break the game. I'm impressed. I'm not speedrunning okay, this game. I'm going you to can't stop make you me. There. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. <sighs> would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, last time I did this, I chose three for three options, and he was very upset because I was neutral. Let's go with four, because... Can, hello? Okay, there so we we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> this whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're More into doors. it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Good old Neil. Skid. Hey, I know that dude. Went to school with him. A dead rat. It's dead mouse, actually. Wait, what? Seven hours? Okay, I don't know about that one. What if I picked one of the other options, actually? I... I'm gonna have to come back and do that later. I didn't actually think about now, that one. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, no. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left to no, cause enough. danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, <laughs> and if he reaches the fire, you fail. I'm not doing it's this ending. This is the one ending I refuse the to do. And tedium of endlessly I refuse. The you could of family life. I think the art world will really take note. Okay, there is... Uh, okay, wait, let me let the narrator finish, and then I'll explain a bit more about this. How are we doing, Altuma? Altuma? Otis, 
But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. He's not joking, by the way. There is actually an ending after this. And two hours through, another threat appears, and you... So, why so like, you give it a button spawns here, and you have to go here, and you have to go here, like... Experience. Alright, I'm already over it. Goodbye, baby. The time we spent together was immaculate. You heartless bastard. Wait, no, can I say that? you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? I just hate the because challenge. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This Maybe if it also like didn't have the noises. Like, I feel like they tried to make it as of, like... Well, I'm pretty sure that's the point of it, though. Or is this game going to break my PC? Woo! Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's it's Firewatch. I what is haven't played Firewatch. Mm. And I looked up, I well, did a quick Google search of it, and I was like, a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you Yeah, I, I think they down. had some Perhaps issues with some Minecraft, sort of they had to take it out, because the Portal one's mm. gone as well. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. Firewatch, and it seems more it's like Firewatch, this Come, the let's venture what's up, outward and see what else is out there. Wait, is this person... We are, wait, 1989? Not to mention, we're living with a mad lad. How does... Hello? What was that? Alright. Drink the fuck for... Ah, delectable. Oh, look at all these delectable, like, you just throw them in here, give them the old shake around. Perfect. You go to sleep, you might not wake up, you're good. Oh, look at that. That's a threat right there. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Ah. Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. What happened to this tree? wandered off into that, that thing. That big open, <laughs> just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. It's not going but poorly. Look, now, I'm trapped. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable Wait, there's a bottom. Walls. No, no, wait. Mm -hmm. I have to press the thing. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. I think this will be just the thing. No! This is so sad. Oh! Is that Wonderful. Tilted? See, um, this is exactly wait, I... what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Okay, now, okay. this is game design. Okay, it looked like a bottom from afar, but in this game, I, I wasn't about to correct myself impressed. once we got there deep row. If you turn, okay, you get so half exactly by three. So do do someone turned it the opposite way, so we there can never turn it. There are cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley. Am I, I tripping or is this on an ball. angle? Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. I'm probably yeah, just tripping. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Ball? <gasps> yeah. Oh, hit her. Juggle it. No, come on, Stanley. Update to TF2, but I don't want hackers on my Stanley fun? Parable. Is it better than my <laughs> miserable Save little TF2. story that I worked so hard on? <laughs> Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball <gasps> generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls <gasps> makes for an even more euphoric sports. Now you're experience. talking my language. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Dude, I love it when another ball hits me in the face. Oh yes. my god! My goodness, that really does feel oh, amazing, ball. doesn't it? 
Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to Honestly, have more. Same. I'm insatiable. Don't, don't give more me. More. No, don't. You can't do. That. <gasps> I was not ready for this. Is this what it's like being a dog? Chat, we've learned the secrets of what it's like to be a dog. Stanley got mad speed. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Honestly, I am enjoying that. Yo, gold Is this for a free. real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. What? That's right. What? Your little fun comes to an end. All right. This is my game. Goodbye. Come on. What are you doing? I'm not even going to listen to what he's saying. I was thoroughly enjoying myself. I'm over there, dude. <laughs> Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I didn't move. How did you go away? Hello? That makes no sense. It's what you get for taking away my fun. I'm actually upset by that. Oh. Spooky. <gasps> a heater. I need one of these. I actually bought a heater. Thank God. Alright, now that I'm streaming this, I actually have the courage to go down like, and explore this. Because I look at this and I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to get jumped. Those are jumps get... As a jump scare waiting to happen. I'm still not brave enough. Someone come here and hold me. I'm not strong. Didn't I just see something in the window? Ah, uh, yes. I don't know what it means, but yes. Narrator's room? So, wait, the narrator's always just watching me from there? Huh. I wonder what he found. If what he wait, wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Wait, 1040? Oh, yes. yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Do it when I'm do it when I'm offline, Altuna. Wow, one ending. We did it. What is the next ending? Really bad ending. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's a Stanley, or at least another co-worker, walks past here. I'm hoping to at least get them this stream. Oh, and I, I guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now, in this little hallway, here, with no distractions, to study room 417. Not to actually enter it. No, 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 no. That would be far too forward. Stanley wanted to know it from the outside, to see it not just with his eyes, but with his heart. That's he would know odd. room 417 as no man or woman had ever known. Also, I appreciate the... That ladder over there. Appreciate the sun. Oh, that little picture Holy. of a horizon or something. It's all just a never-ending parade of joy for Stanley. Dude, six months. That's almost halfway towards a year. That's crazy. Can I enter 417? No, there'd be euphoric. It's like the catatonic shock that I'd receive from just the euphoric pleasure of entering Office 417. I'd just die immediately. It, it was a considered ending that was going to happen, but no, nah, they took it out. I'm also uh, just lying to you. No, Could you imagine not. that? Someone lying on the internet? That's crazy. Where am I going? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This we was not before. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I can't read all that. I mean, I could. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wow, yes, this room, that's perfect. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Yo, it's like incredible. Dasha. He wasn't I hope you're having a good day at work. Ago. I appreciate you stopping by. Okay, chat, doing secret stuff. Don't tell. Eh, eh. Okay. Venting. Sauce. The shush emote. Glorious. I'm a big fan of the emote. It's Stanley one of my favourite. So <laughs> Just global emotes. The begun, so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. <gasps> I bet that's the kind of twist you think what? is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. People it who like Star Wars so Episode 9. Be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Wow, he doesn't even beat around the bush. He just straight, it's like, reset. Wait, let me just... Oh, I can't actually grab that window itself. Oh, wait, no, I can if I go to OBS. Nice. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Apparently, just... They didn't want them. Can I start this? Yes. Perfect. When does that open? Uh, okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the from the looks of it. From room, what I've decided on my well. uh, notepad, perhaps he wanted I'm... to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Thank you for stopping. I'm going to be doing a lot of the right side endings and then moving on to the left, um, and then just going through, and then I the work on the new content. Sublime. A work of art. What was it about this room? That called so deeply and so personally to Stanley. It's blue. It's grace. It's subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. No, don't stop there. Go on. Phew. Speak. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished oh, but it. eager to get back to business Stanley took the I'm first I'm so used to calling him narrator like, I don't think I could call him anything but narrator at this point also speaking of blues Sonic Frontiers gameplay tomorrow wow what a timeline also it's still going to be delayed I put money on it There's the money that you're going to get back from the stream for the 39 years Stanley was so delivering. bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Honestly accurate. What is this one? Okay. Oh, gotcha. Wait. Hello? Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Honestly, same deep, bro. But that would involve me to work. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it. 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 360. Whoops. 
Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Wait. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I gotta keep an eye on the computers for the button ending. Heaven ending. There we go. Now, chat, I know you all missed that blue room, Stanley so let's go back to it. Two open this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Well, okay, that's got, that's got too real, that's got too real. To I'm business. leaving. Stanley Someone took help. the first open door on his left. Yeah, because it's plot armor at that Stanley point. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't... Follow these directions. Opposite 360. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yes, those are different endings. It's the suicide ending and the cold feet ending. Which, funny enough, I didn't know the cold feet ending actually existed. I think that's still original content. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Where's the computer? I should look there immediately to make sure I always catch him if he does walk. Oh really? I'm going. I'm going there now. Sorry, let me just. So I just had to move things. Okay, get back into the game. Here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley oh, knew it perfectly we well. We still have Perhaps two more endings on this side. Well, just technically three, it. but... Stanley felt lightheaded. Oh, it's quite enough. Butterflies in his stomach. Giddy in a way he had never known before. <laughs> was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly, truly deeply... Madly, love. He's asking the real questions. I love my bedroom. Like I love staying yes. in my bedroom. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room, a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Oh yeah, technically I'm missing a lot more, but like from base at game, I'm point, only missing Stanley's like obsession three last, at the he'd moment. He'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his yes. left to get back to business. Yeah, because I started with blue door and I've so done at following directions. the other That's ending so far over here. Five years ago. Rent a fence. That easy? Wow. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Lint. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put Hello? your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like this is something so relatable to real life? You just see this and it's just gone. Oh my god, I can make out some of the words but i'm not about to squint for like the longest time right there that's her stanley 
You need to be the one to do this. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. hi. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. What was the come point? Inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. What was the point? Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. You're in my story now. You what, mate? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me with that wall. I'm not going to lie. Literally jump from that wall. Hello. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Go on. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential oh. nature of his existence. Press that one. Huh? Please press P. Look at him there, pushing buttons doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. That doesn't come now to later. he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. B. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. The bottom one would be the timer and the top one would be the one to make it work? And so I think the bottom one is a knob. About his own job. First he imagined that one day while at work he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building Wait, actually, had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. How would you even open the thought it? Excited him terribly. Like, look at it. Spend time with the boys for the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely okay, but... even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What the hell? For? Okay, back in the day, I'd accept something like that. But this is 2022, my friend. Like, you tell your work to get in the current age. Also, like, th this microwave doesn't have, like, a door handle or, like, a uh, sort of anything to open the door. So how do you get that door open? I'm not prying it open every time. As he wandered through oh. this fantasy world, oh, there we go. he began Double to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Wow, spoiler. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah, this is why I didn't really bother too much, like... But there is I don't mind answer. necessary stuff with my job, but... Be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same eh. buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. On the microwave now. I like that. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button... Do not do it. Okay. Well, good thing I'm Josh. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? 
How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. It's not even real Perhaps, cool. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. I can't even see my legs. But I tried again. Uh oh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Okay. What are we at now? Okay, good. We're at a better ending. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. <laughs> This is great, he thought. Yo, Deepro, it's you. <laughs> or to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. You are not alone. We had the rare Stanley. Jump scare, indeed. <gasps> New content. Wait. I have to do the other endings though. What's up, turtle? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. Wait, what? It all made Stanley uncomfortable. And he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That was weird. Uh, yes, I have to disconnect the phone. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking... This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. May contain what? May contain... Is that one or two words? I feel like that's two words at the bottom. I cannot tell. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly i didn't even know that was possible let me double check my skills no, uh my skills just shine through day. stanley picks up the phone he's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another whatever music comes in fade to white roll credits not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action he's lying how to is me. that even possible none of these decisions were supposed to mean anything I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <gasps> <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? But well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. I hate but it. if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, 
In this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Go on. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Mm -hmm. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Twitch chat, they're Allow talking about the you. person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Mm -hmm. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, <laughs> is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. No. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. I learned a lot. You have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, that's charts. I thought that said charts. And I was like, why would that say that? Why is it only that room that's broken? Shouldn't everything else start breaking as well? There's probably nothing there. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I was gonna try to go for the vent, but I oh, I might be able to go for the vent. Is this the gap? That oh no, I can't actually move past that. Okay. Wait. Okay, I tried, I failed, I cry. I cry in the corner, crying over. If you are lying right now, stop. Do not lie. Do not think about lying. Otherwise you'll get caught, just lie. My position. Glorious blue room, we're back. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Ugh. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, it's ruined. You... I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... Well, it's worth it! <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. What's the answer? What I want to steal do? it. What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. 
Can I at least take the mug though? Can I get the mug? I want the mug. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't Why even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you you're a child. It's all my game. Why do you have oh, to be mad? My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Do I go I'm quite sure right be up to the task. Here? Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I All actually right. don't remember. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. If anything, if I go right, it might put me back here to make the correct decision again. Let's just see. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Yeah, okay is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Still broken though, isn't it? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I know how this ends, I've just forgotten how I get there. That's weird. That's like a weird lighting right there. What's that about? What's going on here? What's really going on here? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yep. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door <gasps> with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. It's been so long since I've done some of these vanilla ones that I've forgotten how it got to this point. In my apple. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Right How are there on the wall. I'm trying, Eric. I'm trying. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial April. step. Yo. <laughs> okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> oh, this is... What a game. Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do I want to be cut? Do something. <laughs> I also like that name because Angel is official, right? You don't even need to ask. Yes, the story needs you. You got the sound of my belief in you. You hear me? Are you there? Because you also got the other um perfect dark guy apart, which is where I struggled a lot. Coming to decide, coming to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Uh, uh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's in the boss's office, I believe. Soon, my soon, my sweet soon. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Um, it really varies, Ed, and so, like, I could not leave my office. I could just close the door, and that counts as an ending. Uh, I can leave the window. There's a bunch of... Th um, there's 42, 43 endings in total. One of them takes four hours to get to, of just pressing a button. Um, so, yeah. And here it was. The lounge. It's very... What a room, in between. Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room. What a room. What a room. Okay, I'm what but a room. Eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Fun fact. We're about to witness the first ever ending I got when I first played this game. This is called the confusion ending. But Stanley so, didn't want to go back to the office. Take that as he you will. He wanted to wander about and get even further on track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here. This is one of my favorite endings from the original. Left. And to th could you, like, getting this ending for the first time playing this game, you certainly wouldn't, especially if you consistently went through with it, you know? Oh, no. No, it's Oh, I could have right. actually made it through. Wow. Huh. No, no, no. I wonder no, if I could have no, actually made that. Right. Alright, April, you Why great friend. I, it was to the I should right. be through later if I've heard. What was I if you down. It's clearly... If not, you oh, you were punk. Well, like, minute, Puffer would ban you. <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. God, this... I can't believe I first played this game in 2013. That takes me so bad. Or like, around maybe 2014? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This Take is everything all in. Spoiler. Quickly, quickly. Quick Stand that down. Shut that down. Okay, okay, okay. We, we just, we just have to get back to, um... Oh. Like we know it? No, you're free. It's I demand now. what the, the whole story completely you unusable. <laughs> How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Oh, 
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley no, decided to go to the place. meeting room. Yo, Adam, Perhaps I appreciate the seven bits. She w oh, like a narwhal. Okay, I get it. I was like, is that a snowman type thing? Ah, oh, it takes away the new content. No, I'm 23 bits. Wait, wait, what? No, Out of 30 bits no in total. I, I appreciate I it. I restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Or did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story I, I need to get a, um, hold on. Why am I bit emotes you? already. I'm the one who wrote the story. I should hopefully have... Was right here just a minute might ago. have something next I month. Sure that it's I need to figure somewhere. out what to get for an emote though. Okay, also, then. I appreciate the it's extra 24 bits. It means Come a lot. Stanley, let's find the story. Like that, sort of, that sort of support is like completely optional. Like You definitely don't have to do that, so... Hey, another 31 bits. I really do appreciate it. And team... <laughs> I've kind of lost count at this point. But no, I do really appreciate it a lot. Whoa, where am I? What? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story that here before. That sound was deep. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by what? starting over and over what? again. But it's got to be better than this. Wait, okay, I can't... let's give it a shot. Why not? My brain hurts. How did I end up in a full circle? What the heck just happened? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 420. Ah, I can't even close this door. Huh. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Doesn't the adventure line spawn in there at some point? Can't close that door either. Oh, you can turn that off though. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <gasps> I can get on the boss anyway. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place Waiting in an room. office building. It, is that correct? Please. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Please wait what for you your what? number. Since I, I think this song was from the demo. Supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! <gasps> Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. Yay, I did it. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work. Me when I planned room. in The Walking Some Dead just to play it. And, <laughs> and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Also, Walking Dead is a great game. Oh! The king himself. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Team. Just follow the line. Team. How simple is that? But what if I didn't? There's so many things I still have to look up, but I still want to, like, get the original sort of... Are they winning? This is Solitaire. Oh, yeah, it's like Solitaire up there. I don't think they have any moods. Then again, I haven't played Solitaire in literally forever. No, I don't think they have moods. Man, I'm about to just play Solitaire later. I don't even think I have Solitaire on this PC. <laughs> I might. You 
you see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Oh, that's a fancy Look, looking piece. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Did that text change? I feel like that wasn't the same sort of text that I remember from the original ending, um, from the base game. Not only did they change some of the original endings, but I feel like a lot more just, um, well, I'd like to apologize. lines were I added. Where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need Maybe? right now is a bit of music to I'm not too sure. Mood. Also, this tripped me out the first time. See how you can just go straight there? There's nothing here like this. But then suddenly there's, like, all this. The wormholes of this game are ridiculous. Okay, now I'm confused. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. <laughs> I appreciate those atoms. Um, try not to get too crazy with spamming them, though, because... I'm pretty lax on it right now, like, this is a real chill stream, but when I'm speedrunning and that sort of thing happens, uh... It... Eh... Yeah. Th there's always a time for it. This is a better time for it, but... When I'm speedrunning, like... That would not be a good time to do that sort of thing. I'm just giving you a heads up. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No! 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 Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? What the hell did I just witness? <laughs> Is any of this ringing a bell? I also saw someone glitch the game, so I'm scared. Okay, I want to see what's this way. Oh, there's nothing! Still missing the doors. Did we make a mistake following the line? Perhaps we could have found the story on our own. Huh. Boop. 420. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? But after we trusted you, after everything we've been hey, through, you, you... I appreciate no, I the sub. take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Dude, and brood. Gifting little old me a sub. What the heck, man? I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. How are we both doing? What what part am I up to with this one? I think we just ignore the line now. You know what, Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own Do you story? need to go to a doctor Something park? Exciting. Daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? <gasps> 437. Now, 
Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Friday. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your it's imagination. It's Tuesday for you. Whatever Godspeed be, Stanley, um, surviving I'm those days I'm talking. Um, when I had a pinched nerve, like, that sort of pain was just unbearable. So, and I had to wait, like, a full week to see um, a physical therapist because there was no earlier... Uh, bookings available, so Godspeed oh, surviving those days. I believe in you, friend. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. So that's why there's no streams for like a week ish, just over a week. Where are you heading off to, Brood? I hope you have fun. Well, bro, you either sl turkey, <laughs> completely. <laughs> Not gonna lie, my my first thought was food because we always have a turkey for Christmas. But no, nah, that's cool. What what are you heading over there for, friends, family? Pleasure. Just go over there, be like, I'm a Sonic speedrunner, and also I do Mario stuff, but more Sonic stuff. Ah, a choice. This holiday, gotcha. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute um, to think here. Just walk in circles. How long is your flight? Like, so I know that each door. Has do you to leave think you could stay awake which means until then? Somewhere, the place where we're trying like, are you packed and all that already? There must be a reverse door that leads here, and that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse four showers okay origin. enough for a so nap but not really right, enough for a proper ask, um will sleep taking the right door lead us to where we're going and since the answer is clearly yes then by all accounts the door on the right is the correct one another victory for logic come stanley our destiny oh <laughs> so i appreciate that you guys like got a hype train started always amusing to me what the oh. Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, where are we at right now? Ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, yep, eight times? So the really seventh and eight are the ones goes? that don't happen. It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written Yo, here on this, this Don't tell thing. them the surprise. Oh my god, I can't believe well, it. <laughs> me. It's what funny, Fujiya, like, they would not, they like, understand what you mean by they... that. No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the Ball game up, to keep gamer. restarting. How we doing? I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped? Does that mean I'm... Yo, I owned one of these chairs. The Holy cycle? cow, this takes um, me back. Whatever oh my it is God. that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Bro, so, these were weapons back in the okay. day. That was so light. You throw this at someone? <sighs> That's crazy. Just now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Jesus. Scared me the very first time, still scares me this time. What are we up to now? <gasps> Chat, exciting stuff. We actually get to go to the left now. All of this incredible is gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided phenomenal. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I can't believe. Okay, so the video that I watched of this like person out there, they were going from the left, but the one I had was going to the right. Oh, sorry, they were going to the left, but mine was going to the right soon.
when Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, yeah. he entered the door on his left. Look at that. We actually get to follow the game now. Incredible. Not all the way, though. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling away from With no expectation of promotion to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yo, this is just in general, like, just... You don't even have to have a job to do this sort of, um, path right there. Has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some level... Belevel? Bevel? I don't know. Business clue. Rule one. Reference or... Reference or not... Wait. References are not all they're cracked up to be. Anything behind this one? Nope. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, actually, when you edit that, down by there was there. nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Yo, Tia. Appreciate the raid. <laughs> you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet. Broom closet ending, y'all. Best time. Find out. But it didn't even occur to me because and just another enjoyer of the fine arts. Absolutely no significance to the story. What anyone who knows the broom closet ending, I never would have thought to mention it. Yep, just an up there person in my box. Taya, how was your stream? Appreciate the raid. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching. Oh my god, same to the When you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Chat, want to become friends I so we can talk about the broom closet ending? I, that's all I ever hoped for. Tia, have you played this game Stanley before? Was fat and ugly and really, really oh, stupid. hang on, I'm getting He probably insulted. only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. Three when a physical malady of some sort shut down your system. At least it wasn't three shirt runs and one good run. We take those. Well, in a situation like this, Play the responsible small thing God, is sure. to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any <laughs> number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. So if you play the smaller man, then you at least know this game. For those that don't know, this game is about choice, and the choice... You can choose to not make a choice. Like, it's all about making a choice, and you could also not make a choice. Ah, second player. It's good to have Which is also board. making a choice. I guarantee... You can't do any which, worse than the person who came before you. Hey! Which sounds weird, but that's honestly the Stanley Parable. You too? 
Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby who can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. About you. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I'll be back, you, my king. Ah, uh, my notes Coming to say a I go down. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley Yo, just Pops couldn't cool. do Appreciate it. the follow. He considered also, the possibility of facing well. his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Same with you, Crash. Fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words. Who are the feet? Hey, yo. Dreaming. One of those people, no. huh? This is all a dream. They're just like, no feet, oh, I'm out. What it would be hey, yo, you really, you really just finally found an answer. The an truth just comes out of nowhere, you know? His co-workers weren't actually gone. <laughs> he wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float oh. above the ground. Hey, I was trying to read then that. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, back on the ground. this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... Yo, no problem, T. I appreciate the rage. Yeah, he would night. prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the oh, blanket. Oh, you have on his a skin. good one as well. The press of the mattress on his back. I'm just listening to the narrator go the crazy. The air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Oh, I wish so it many be more over. endings before we even Let get to the to new content. <laughs> Let me continue pushing the buttons, please. It's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Any 
things like this. This is the story me. of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wait, what ending was that? Oh, that was the Marielle ending. Uh, eight. What are we up to now? Really? All of his co okay. were gone. Escape pod ending. What did it mean? For those curious, to go to the meeting room. hang on a second. For those curious, I have already done the blue door ending, the warehouse vent ending, the cold feet suicide. I've picked up the phone, I've disconnected the phone, I've essentially done everything on the right, and I've just done the confusion ending. No, confusion ending is still right. Uh, Mariella and starting the broom closet ending is all I've done for the left side at the moment. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Just wanted to give you a quick catch up, not to mention I've seen the secret Stanley, which appears here. There's a Stanley that walks there, or it at least looks like a Stanley, it might not be a Stanley. But, you never know. So. Where does the line spawn? I'm pretty sure it's in the Noonan comic. Stanley one. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Because the boss knows that's what the boss... Oh, because the boss knows that what the boss says goes if the boss suffered losses. <laughs> the boss... Why'd they have to make that so difficult? Here, right? Yeah. Ooh, business strength. Whoa, I didn't go anywhere. I still like the music, though. Hello? Oh, it's probably because I'm in red. Yeah. That's why. The most expensive boss? I didn't actually notice it said that. Stepping in. That was actually kind of lucky. I didn't, um... I think I had it so well. The bottom door is closed. Yeah, you can see it from there. 
pretty sure nothing happens when I step into the broom closet as well. Yeah. Wait, I can close that door? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, I gotta try something next time I come through here. I gotta try close the meeting room doors, see what happens. Because you can close the hallway doors um, uh, for the room at 417, this one here. And there's a little bit of dialogue that happens there. Maybe there's one for here as well. Oh my god. I have to I have to do all the doors. All of them. And now we ascend. I like how it's always 4.30s and 4.32. The numbers on the doors and the desk never change. <gasps> they might have for that one. I didn't look. How would we know if they changed that one if I didn't look? Oh my god. Rookie mistake. Should always look. Hey, I didn't notice that door over there. Huh. Stanley Powell fans, when they see a door, they're like, oh! Immaculate. Insane. We'll initiate a relay that once trigger cannot be disabled or pause. Both the narrator narrator and and the that that's player, but there's something between the player and or. Must be present in order. Wait, so the narrator's here as well? Is that what they're saying? Also, what does this look like to you guys right now? Like, it's a bit dark, but I can at least still see the walls on the side before that opened up. Freedom! Freedom! Now! I can't believe you've done this. We're about to hit that double digit. I'm excited. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Go <laughs> thought it's... Oh. Ooh, actually. What? Hello? Hello? Wait, okay. So, what if I did it like this? Huh, nothing. Interesting. I've been scammed. I can't believe it. I can close the door, but nothing happens. What is this? When Stanley came to a set this of two so open sad. doors, he entered the door on his left. Escape pod. Okay. We've got a new content ending Yet now. there was not a single person here either. I mean, I should have Feeling the away proper... Feeling disbelief, yeah. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, wait, he might actually, find an answer there. that puts me up to ten, because that's the broom closet ending when it's sealed off like that. Nice! Double digits, we've Coming made it. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Sorry, wait, I need to... Okay, which should we do? Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway.
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. That's right, I almost forgot what ending I was going for here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, <laughs> when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. It does. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like... Oh my god, really I just looked out my window and it is pouring down. And Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. Oh that's my god. You are. <laughs> we call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. Good job, you did it. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. Should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. And I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. The railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 <laughs> it's so simple, but it might actually have to be one of my favorite endings because it's it just like of course a lot of these endings don't end in a way you'd expect, but oh. Wait, I realized I was still on a bit because I go back and forth between other stuff as well. Wait, did I do? Okay, so I'm doing that one, but I've skipped the heaven ending. Okay. What do these even say? I wish we knew. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Who did this? I'm not cleaning this up. Wait. 
Was it you, Stanley? Was it you out there? Must have been. See, it doesn't happen for in depth. Why is that door open? Hello? There's some shenanigans happening. I'm scared. Someone hold me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Another new content ending. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping oh he might find an answer there. Throw something in the ideas. <laughs> what? One normal bins, trash cans, two renaming of the idea bins, three fire bins. 41. It's actually 43 or 42. It's one of them. But, um. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. Do you to know his the office. baby ending, Fujio? Just curious. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Secrets, the keypad, Two, Stanley eight, four, pushes five. some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. What do you say? What do you call me? Um, but there's what this game is. You just enjoy watching. Hey, I'm glad. I enjoy playing it. It's a game about choice, but obviously, like the commentary and all that is hilarious. Stanley um, actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. So, I just can't wait to find out. So the baby ending, there's like a button right there. Like, essentially, there's a button like this, just stationary in the middle of the room, and a baby's going towards the fire. You press the button to save the baby, but the baby's constantly crying and it makes a loud <laughs> noise when you press the button. And you have to do that for four hours, and two hours, uh, once two hours pass, another challenge appears where you have to save a dog from a piranha tank. And there's a button, like, a couple steps away from you, so you have to go back and forth, pressing the buttons for another two hours. I'm not kidding, like, back when, back before there was proof of that ending, I thought it was a troll. Because this is a game where it would, it, it would fit immensely, the theme of it, to troll you like that. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Uh, it's still just It was exactly the first ending I did. Well, sorry. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office. The baby again. ending is in fleshed out the plot of the story in new is and in another ending, ways so I like, could have never It's an ending and an ending, but keen eye for storytelling. Yeah, no one's have. going through an four hours of that. Rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other. Weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Sounds really precise. <laughs> four, four real time hours, by the way. Like, literally four Incredible. hours. Like, I, I cannot fathom why they thought again. this was so like. Gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Who, gods, like, I salute the soldiers who just... Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Like, I cannot fathom that. Did you Truly think we were fathom. going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Believe I can't it. even begin to grapple with what might be up there. <laughs> Is it the boss's office again? Oh, what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. But what if it was the boss's office? Also, yes, this is a new content ending. I honestly thought this was already in the base game. I feel like I remember something like this. What could it be? It looks like the boss's office. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Wait. Sure. 
hang in there, kitten. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation. It sounds like this. I wish I had a webcam no. so you could see what no, kind wait. of silly dance I'm doing with no. this. I need more time to process. More? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Did anyone ever have one of these things? I've only seen, seen one of them and they do not work like that. It's a literal scam. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. I'm just misspelling Bob. I promise. Of course. Going back down to the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. I feel like he's sassing me. I feel the sass. Alright, now we proceed on to go back up the elevator. <laughs> oh, he's over me. He's not even saying anything this time. Hmm. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? No, don't say like that. Go. You'll give pie ammo. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the tr- I'll just quickly pause it while he's talking. I have a notepad on the side of all the endings, but it doesn't tell me how to get to it. It's just telling me, like... So, for example, this is called the up and down and up and down ending. And then after that is the museum ending, and we already did the heaven ending, the broom closet ending. Like, that's how the notepad looks. It's just got, like, all the names of it. Coward ending. New content ending. Is this a bucket ending? <laughs> to build a slow it, it's an accident and so on. For the story, the characters. Why aren't we given time to imagine- Oh, I'd also, um, quickly pointing out, all the endings that I've already done from the base game, I will be doing again in the new content game. So that's why I'm doing all these ones first. Like, I've already done the vanilla game endings, apart from, like, the, the proper endings. But, like, there's only, like, two- no, yeah. Five? Yeah, five more original endings. Do I have to think but these are along the way. And then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling. Well, these are ones Stanley. that don't what require the buckers, so right I can get now. these done now. This is the I most exciting no narrative content, new to be content developed stuff. in years, <clears throat> and it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital True. and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley, because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. Wait, what? You're a role model, you know? People look up to you, which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. 
Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. <laughs> the sailor told a great joke. How oh, we did it? The pyramids, you mean the aliens did it. That's not Elon Musk. It, that dude has too much hair to be Elon Musk. I'm pretty sure Elon made it to Mars first. What's with the gaps? Hello? World peace, baby. Ah, yes. Someone's Here gonna it fight is. a baby. Just through this door. Oh, <gasps> you can barely see it. Okay, you can see that right there. You can see the head of it. The only reason I know this is because sh shout out to Boundary Break for doing the Stanley Parable a couple of weeks ago, The Ultra of the Lux, along with the narrator. That is a rat over there. That is a low poly rat. Why? I don't know. But I'm glad I can at least see, like, it'll be really hard to see, but you can see a grey bit of thing on that couch over there. But yeah, it is a low poly rat. The man, the process? The myth, the legend, the parable. A Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. <laughs> he, oh, Boundary Break also showed off that other one back there. I'm trying to remember what it says. I literally just watched this a couple days ago. All right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise um. in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm... I'm really proud of you, Stanley. The Lord okay. meeting it great? Like oh my god. Go get them. Break a leg, champ, your boss. I love the way you ride Elevate. Hey, yo. No one tells stories the way you do. Go get him, Tiger. Stanley, my true love for you. Stanley, my... Tr what? My true love for you grows every day? You make me feel alive, your wife, from the apartment ending. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You're too cool. Good luck on stage, rock on. Up and up, up again, down again. What was I say? An unforgiving account of all this. <laughs> the jokes they made are so funny to me. Oh, God, I'm nervous. All right, let's do it. What's up, bitches? Oh god, wait, there's actually so many people. Wait, no, wait, um... Oh my god, there's so many people. I can't handle the pressure. Up and down and up and down ending. All of his co-workers were gone. I haven't what had the phone ring yet. I think that Stanley might be new content. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> you there? No. Uh, guest or hallway? Hello? Wait. Why do they look like this? Wait a minute. Wait. What? I'm long in years. <laughs> Someone help me. Hmm.
Why are the numbers like that? That's odd. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You bet your sweet bippy I did. Wait. 4.13, no 4.14? Ah, oh, interesting. 4.14 just exists between the realms of existence. Interesting. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> boss's office, hoping he might find. They got a glass there. table because it, they it was just like too many um too many of the workers took off their shoes and started playing toesies with each other, bunch of sickos. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. What? Here's the door, just go. <laughs> he's not even having it. He's just like, go on. I was wondering what that noise was. That noise startled me for a second. See, no matter how much you play this game, there's always stuff that just... will just come out of nowhere. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wrong. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Bit. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still on had God? every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. So real and true. <laughs> at this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You know it, King. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Can I walk past it? I can walk past it. Wee. <laughs> oh, wait, it made me look down. Yeah, how does he not, like, As how does he survive these into falls? Motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Excuse you? So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow That'd still life. really hurt, right? Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Okay, so you can't actually walk forward off the rails there. That's what I was trying to do right there. But it did not seem to be possible. Looks like time's just straight frozen. It's had some weird sort of textures there. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Honestly, for someone like me, this is my, one of my favourite endings. When every you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This blueprint shows the office from, from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered through development, through the... Though the core layout remains almost identical to the first interaction. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure players reach the two doors in a good time. The two doors. The set of the two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction contradiction this room posed. Just their thought process behind it? I love seeing that sort of thing in games. The office. Door doesn't open? Hello? That's a scam. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout a game where buttons are pressed. Each sound 
is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synth synthesized tone. Oh, I was going to say three was the solid, but I hit five. Yeah, I think five. Model design, where is it? Yep, keep him. Keep it. And the impeccable. <laughs> Wait a minute. Console development? Wait, that. Wait, what? That, that newly got added in because this game was not uh, on the console. Not until recently, not until the um, Ultra Deluxe Edition. I'm just going to explore around the museum and then I'll leave out after it. Hmm. What is this? Okay, so these are outtakes. So <laughs> Stanley jumped in the river. Huh. Freedom ending. Oh no spoilers. We can't we can't look at that. One of the deaths from an earlier version of the countdown ending. Uh, the countdown ending is the opposite of the freedom ending. As it existed in the beta. Okay. An early version of the countdown room. Yeah, that's the room that I thought it was. Really? The zending? What were they even thinking to try to make it here? I'll explain more about the Zend The Zending is um, one of my least favorite endings in this game, to be honest. Oops. To fix an error in the end. Okay. The Zending went through many in iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we though we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it shortly before launch. Okay. Escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended with the player restarted from the escape menu. Fortunately, very few players realized this is what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Huh. Interesting. Zending livers? These livers were... Huh. They really did just have a fully different plan in mind for the Zending. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm scared. <laughs> We're in full marriage. That looks like a horror game. I'm not watching that. What do we got over here? Maintenance layer. The flow of hallways following the first two doors was important in Gateway, right? since players will replay them so many times. We discussed the number of designs, but ultimately the simplest version that won out. Disobey lounge. Wait. Yeah, honestly, first option really does seem to be one of the better choices. Vent to confusion ending? That could have been cool, but for the sake of simplicity. I wonder if that's because of unplugging. Second version of... Second version is functionally the same as what it is in the final game, but we wanted to look like more like where cargo was actually stored. Oh, so this is the warehouse. Okay.
the option of the player falling to their death. So that's why the elevator works like that. Wait. Ultra Deluxe announcements. In December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of the Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the videos we made for the get announcement and the game's delay. Yep. 2018. Oh, it was supposed to come out the same year as The Last of Us, which was 2020 or 2021. I think it was 2020. Warzone. Call of Duty. An alien base one, like Halo and all that. That would have been interesting. The maintenance room. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is leading me back to the start. Yeah, honestly, I just really like seeing, like, what could have been with this sort of game and all that. Like, what they... What they had originally and then decided to take out. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office. Ah! What is the difference between these two? Like a box and... Oh, yeah, okay. So, one less computer. Gotcha. Yeah. A bit more details here and there. Game design mock-up. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game, though much of the environment he changed the basic layout from this mock-up is still in this game. Yeah, I could see it. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. We're kind of halfway there, like in a palindrome sort of way. Wait, this is a palindrome right now. <laughs> well, just the numbers, not including the ending. You can see him in here, really took a while, but it's because I. Was someone was following exploring Stanley. a lot. He was sure Whoa, of it. hello. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Uh, I'm scared. Help. Why? Why? I, I don't actually know if I've ever seen this. Why is that one not turned off? Wow, that PC is like actually fully different from the others. Why do they all say that? Why do they all say that? Hang on. Okay, that's all of them. Thought something would have happened, but nope. Soon. <laughs> when Stanley came uh, to a set of we only have like doors, three, the door maybe four more left. endings now. Yeah. Four more endings of the original content. And then we get to Yet go to the new content stuff. there was a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm glad I decided to just chill today with this game. Like... Speedrunning Sonic's fun and all that, and streaming it is always fun, but sometimes, like, playing something else is always a good time.
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to oh. find out? <laughs> Wait, is that down there? It kind of is, so I could just... Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, I don't know if I can. Eternally monitored in this place. Get over there. Freedom meant nothing. I don't want to just fall off. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? This is one of the few secrets of the game that I didn't know about. I just have to wait for this other door to open so I can backtrack for a second. Also, there's a monitor over there that has full red text. Uh, it's got a bunch of errors on it. But there's something about, will the real error please stand up? Uh, if you don't do with flashing, don't do well with flash. I'm pretty sure this won't do flashing lights, but slight warning, I guess. Faithfully ported secrets 2022. <laughs> okay, this is a new secret. Secret rooms 2014? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? I like that the music Had was drowning out. Had he truly spent <laughs> his entire life utterly blind to the world? the proof the heart of the operation oh. controls labeled yeah. with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Just trying to check around for something. Where are the, where's the last button? One, two, and I'm assuming that's four up there, and there's five over here, but where's three? Is that three over there? I think this is three, actually. Yeah, it's three. Okay. Um... I barely remember this, so let's see how this goes. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his uh, obligation, duty. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I never played Control. I Maybe you I should one day. Do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. 
I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the, the network's kind of emergency huh. detonation system. In I have the base the game, I don't have the DLC. I've yet to play it. I think it's because I had... Nuclear. Hang on, just make it so the music and all that. I have it on PS4, so I don't know if it's going to run as smoothly as I want it to type deal. I'd imagine it'd be fine, but I also heard issues about it here and there, but... Yeah, I don't doubt it's a bad game. Detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Wait, how many DLCs does it have? I thought it only had like two or three. Let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy sure, it. Sorry, gotcha. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. Yeah, what's up, what's Sam? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say to myself, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That them. this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately? Yo, nice. To your being blown life? to pieces. Or will you let it go That's peacefully? Hot. Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. <laughs> Silly narrator. All of his co workers were. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? It isn't? Is this Stanley's office? Wait, what? <gasps> oh no, I must leave. Give me out. I'm leaving. Ah! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. 
So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Nope. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this <laughs> one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. No. I don't know if... Does this reset me? Or do I have to reset myself? Uh, let's do the yes option and then I'll consider that done. Already this was uncomfortable. Same. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Yeah, we'll do the yes option At first, this time. Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. Just in case someone's like, yeah, that does a cat at the end thing. Game's <sighs> design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible. Look, okay, this is an ending. <laughs> I'm not going to rule that. <laughs> If it's a choice like that, I don't have to go through both, I feel. I feel like just doing that one was more than enough. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's coming to a staircase. I'm literally Stanley just rushing to the other ending now. His boss's office. I'm so, I'm ready for the new content. Thank you for Here's not wasting my time. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Shit. Yo, what's up, Mick? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm I'm still on track with everything. Cool. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 
Who knows, maybe after this full playthrough of like 41 endings, maybe I will pick this game up as a speedrun. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Yeah, Stanley's it won't let me go that way. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Wait, what was that? Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions what is, had been is manipulated that face to punch accept or something? it? Oh, I can't remember exactly what it is. No. But I know that's a reference he to something. Refused to believe it. Oh, he couldn't it? accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Wait, pirates? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Can I go back down? I want to see the pirate. There was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human. Oh my god, when you're stretching and you go to lean back and your chair just like tips back and you feel Madness. like you're about to die. And a rising Consane. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. <laughs> Where had his I appreciate the bliss. Gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? This isn't a run what of any sort. did this strange building hold? Casual as sunlight well, streamed into the chamber. I played this game a lot, none of this but I really wanted to stream it, and here I am. It was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay, so it's really difficult to see, but beside the building, right there where I'm looking at, you can see like the white stuff on the ground. That is a skull. And the funny thing about it is that it's stretched to make it look like a small one, but when you get over there, it covers like all the way to the wall. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. Ah, oh, same with the bridge the in the background and the building up there. Wow. Before him. I really learned this a lot. was exactly the oh, way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I keep talking over the narrator. I learned a lot about this, like, about this game. Thanks to the Boundary Break episode. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. 
But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. The coward ending, because he doesn't leave. Chat! It is time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It is time. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It is time. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I wish I could read some of those. Oh yeah, this is what I'm waiting for. By the way, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back in a second. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yo, same. Sorry. Took a, took a hot second longer than I thought. <gasps> 1951. I don't know what it means. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if the... M oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Yo, there is. <gasps> Incredible. You love this game? Nice. Did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> that ending is my favorite. But no, I hope you're doing well. I, I'm not even gonna try to figure out how the speedrunners do is, jump storage. Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good, yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. What's going on down here? 
Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Oh. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. It does. Quality assurance department there. signed off on this. <laughs> I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter <gasps> and hold them personally accountable. Oh God, <sighs> the death sentence. Fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Where's my phone? Boop. Ah. A short history of the... God, I wish I could read half of these. I wish there was a zoom button. So I could just read a lot of these. Yeah, I know this place. Familiar place. Good times, good times. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. No, don't kill me. I I'm mid -base you scan. Look at me. I'm mid base scanning. I'm literally so crew. Literally so crew. What the heck is that up there? What's this? Sunset. At dawn. I like work. I just hate my boss. <laughs> oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? Hey, what'd you say, mummy? I'm gonna come out of there and beat you up. Oh, never mind. You're not a dork. I'm gonna still beat you up. Come here. I'm gonna eat your ass, boy. Mate, wait, what? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. It's Take Elden away. Ring. Wow. I call it... The memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Huh. Experiences Dangerous. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. That sounds dangerous. Why'd you want to do that? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. God, what if I play... What if I played this game again on October 2023, just 10 years later? That's crazy. 2013, when the Stanley Parable was released. The Steam page. Not even in English. Zone, sweet zone. Don't forget. My greatest wealth is memory. I don't know, the greatest wealth is money, but that's just me. Ah oh, yes, the mob bucket. Classic. Can I go through the home? Okay. Now supporting independent. 
The British Academy of Film and Television Arts awarded to Bruce Strahley the last of it. Oh. I mean, maybe not for the first one. But for the second one, yeah. Can just directly buy memories. I mean, it kind of can. Like, you can buy a lot of things on the internet. Our first kiss. My first car. The release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. <gasps> Wait. This is a globe? Wait. Does it have New Zealand? Please. Please, I beg you. Please, I must. <gasps> Wait. Is that us? <gasps> I think that's us. <gasps> yo. Yo, there I am. There I am. Right there. That's me. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't have to put them on mats without New Zealand. Never in New Zealand? You watch your heinous tone. Begin again. Good times. And loving me. Hey, yo, what? It didn't die. Hello? Spun you, me boy. Me first, though. Eggy. It's actually pretty real looking, what the heck? Apart from it being like kind of odd looking on the corner there, but still looks really good. Smile, because it happened. I thought it did. Oh. I actually played the demo and the demo baited me. I, I sat there for like one minute before I realized I had full control immediately. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Go outside, don't play for five years. Wait, is this the same one over and over? I think it is. Oh no, it isn't. Story, game, uh, game innovation, and debut game. Okay. Oh, fifty percent off designer hat. Buy a small creature. Wait, but a small creature owns the other half. Hey yo, what? Business leaders pushing election of council aliens. Can't give that without the glare. Today, sunny, hot, humid. Rutgers go from scandal to new crisis. <laughs> Deals, tough choices. When did this one come out? Wait. Wait, wait. This one says June. But this one says October. And it says it's releasing today. Wait. There's an inconsistency between this. My immersion is ruined. Nah, that's just sad. That just breaks my heart. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling <gasps> writes... Mr. Quote, Destructoid. <laughs> where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk, Mahone, a lifeless husk. 
with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> I just saw a big sushi and that cracked me up. Yo, portal! Oh my god, I was there. Oh my god, the Minecraft one as well. Glorious. The tasteful, nostalgic, it was good. Wait. I was supposed to do... Oh, I was supposed to do something. Heck. Wait, what the heck is that one? That, wait, what is this one? What is this one supposed to be? Is that the escape pod ending? I don't know. I'm playing the Stanley Parable? Wow. Buy on Steam. What even is that up there? That all the way up there. That's way too small for me to see. Ah, the buttons. Classic. Oh, it's um Stanley and Mariella. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. The serious room. <clears throat> I need to remember to... Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, I remember that now. I'm pretty sure this is from the demo. Preparing snake oil... S salesman... I can't figure out what that last word is. I'm pretty sure that's ROG, but I can't... Ah, it's like, I... Reading's hard. That and I'm not good with words. The wait, where, where does that where does that button appear? <laughs> oh, these were simpler times, Stanley, but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on, I don't recall <gasps> this part of the memories. Pixar, what's this? What's down here? Oh, it closes behind you. Okay. Oh no, oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, oh god. the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. I can't believe they've Surely got my these reviews. reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Uh oh. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion in the narrative is obnoxious and unfunny with its humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining the individual paths themselves are also not very fun not offering much to do throughout each path and requiring some rather tedious nonsense to get certain endings i cannot recommend this game to anyone even as a so bad it's good game you'll more likely wind up bored by your third or fourth playthrough honestly i could not be bothered to play this game to full completion the narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. No. I'm trying to make a serious work of it's art. Dead. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert it's into dead. the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. This is why I don't leave reviews. No, actually, this is me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's see what this one is. Come through your repair of the board. The game is good. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. 
time. I always will. To be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Hmm. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh. Dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. <gasps> like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. God, that almost felt like me for a second. I was just like, man, I should upload to my YouTube. Like, people people are still subbing to me and I just don't upload content. I, I feel bad, but I know I'm not obliged to, but I still just feel kind of bad, you know? What's this one got to say? You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Interesting. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so mm. that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver oh, a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Treatise skip right here. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof! And it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, <laughs> and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, can you or at least change some of the wording. Can you to be honest, oh. I don't even know if one can change their review yeah, in the first place. That's what I was trying to say. I guess I should become better educated. I'll exactly Re -edit your review. Words. That's what I was trying to say. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work. Surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user... For now. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means but it's well there's right. really only so much i can ramble on to myself about i know it's shocking isn't it but at any rate i do suggest that we not press the button again with the door i think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated and we can say goodbye to it and just wait how do we get out of here where did the door go keep up man Isn't there a door that led into this room i don't feel quite certain that there was one here before how else would we have gotten into the room in the first place i don't Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! 
I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. We need I have more no doors. idea how long I'll... Oh, Stanley, you're back. What the? You're back. Oh, my goodness. I had someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Well, let me know how me this talking. one goes. Uh, hello? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Just Have you ever you? sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for That's you. Like to begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed for opportunity. Now. Uh Interesting. <clears throat> well, wait, is the clock stopped? Yeah, I think the battery's died. Well, the leaves have fallen off. Uh this fan that was fine at the start is now struggling. And this is flashing. That's just stopped working. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us, now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency, it's the lack of accountability, it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. Hey. The I most know, immediate know, desires. Know. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. We're it living seems in that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to. Okay. I don't know if he's actually gone this time. Or if he's just lingering. The end is never the oh. end is never the 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 end is We should just make I should just leave this as the whole stream. This is just what the noise should be. This is satisfying noises. My noises. <sighs> Who told me to skip? I shouldn't have done it. I want my noises back. Don't think I'm, I can at least see now. Oh, 
again. Oh, the ladder. You do that one more time. Ah. Well, at least I have a ladder. That's all I care about. Yeah, once it got to years deeper, I was like, this is a interestingly, like, they're sticking with this joke for a while, and then it just got a bit worse. In my notes, uh, I've called this one the end of the end ending, because everything's gone. Like, the plants grew back and then died. So, like, I couldn't even fathom how long he was skip he skipped time for once it started to come to down to like millennia and all that. <gasps> okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the Sp meeting room. Speaking Perhaps of, he had a, simply missed a memo. Speaking of some type of. <sighs> Where does the adventure? I thought the adventure line shows up. Also, new new content. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have barely. something very exciting to show you. I barely noticed it. It was close. I almost missed it. <clears throat> Almost missed it at first. Wait, actually, while I'm here, I might as well quickly check before I do anything to get on this one. Oh, I don't have the server console enabled. How do I do that? I've completely forgotten how to. I'll work, I'll work it out. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable oh, wait. 2. I completely zoned out, by the way. 20 endings now. We're like pretty yes, much halfway there now. Isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Oh, too Think full. of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Testing two princes at the same time? That's dangerous. Can I leave? Call 
selling it to Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Dead Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement. Wait, right what does there. it look like that? It's future oriented. <laughs> it screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. <laughs> two, 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 two to ten instead of five and five. Yo, was this lot? Off painting and cheap. These are just like stock paintings. <gasps> I'm not saying that. <laughs> Yo, what is with these fake doors? This is ridiculous. What, what is going on here? Are those a bunch of fives? I believe it is. Now what is it? It's like... Hang on. Wait, could I get it on the table to see? Oh cool, there we go. Doesn't help that I still can't even read it. Yeah, it's like C1 but C2's crossed out. I don't get it. New content part two. New hotness. What even am I looking at right here? Oh, the outside of the building. Gotcha. Boring section of the chart. Cool red section of the chart. It's like Daniel and Cola Daniel. The color red. More of the Stanley Parable, the Stanley Parable, better Stanley Parable. Thanks for attending my meeting. Chat, that's all of you right now. You're just sitting there smiling like that, literally looking like that, dude. So I did ox you. Double fan! Why is the brain red? Get that checked out. It probably hurts. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Who took the red mark? work itself Me. out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Number two, chair 1202. Strong design pitch rate. Pitch? <laughs> design pitch and pitch design? Why? <laughs> when you say pitch, you mean like throw it? Like, what's going on here? Well, I saw the investor showcase. What was that? You guys hear that? Do not trust your pain. What is going on here? Something to eat. I can't read that. Eat. Feast on hope. I don't want one more. Weird. 
idea about it? Wh why does this exist? That's odd. Dark Souls 2? Yeah. You found me. I'm... I'm subject to the call uh, something of the level so what a mug is not needed to change its mind. What? Wait, I can just go in this? Some of these things are so awkwardly... Don't talk to me before I pay for my sequel. Some of them are so awkwardly placed. Last box. I'm looking at literally everything. I'm taking so long with these. Like, I knew some of these would take a while, but still, when I just stop and look at everything like this, like, every little detail, I, I just want to appreciate it, you know? Wait. Oh, who farted? I thought that... I, I don't know what I thought that was going to say, but I thought it was going to say something entirely different. Fuck it. Here we are. But first... On, try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? Shira? <laughs> the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized Steve. and validated as people. Imran. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? I can't believe he's going to dox my real name. Like, my name, Josh, has just been a lie this whole time. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but it's the truth. I'm so sorry. Hey, I made it. Can I make it up here? Sad. Alright, here it is. Are you guys ready to learn my real name? Try to contain yourself. Jim. Wait. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, <laughs> the button only says the name Jim. But of okay. course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Gotcha. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Okay. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever Whoa. you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of That's this button. Ed, I have an IRL it's just a that stupid Ed, button that says somebody you? else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <laughs> <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Okay. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim. I don't drive. Frisbee on the weekends I haven't played Frisbee since I was a child. Staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim. I don't do horror movies. Developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. That's me with gaming. Rediscovering yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim. I'm not religious. And finally, dying a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult. Yo, as on Jim. God? Do you feel it in your soul? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I feel like I'm Jim. Also, I agree, Deepro. Like, imagine being actually called Jim and playing this game, and you're just like, wait, wait. they're just mind blown. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Oh, I got goosebumps. Let's take a break from the gym. Oh. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this oh, personal that was good. validation. That was good. I need to do it again. One more time, one more time, one more time. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the what? gym button away. Jim. No, Otherwise, no, Jim. Will start to Jim. Lose all no. Jim. Of who Jim. You Jim. Are. Jim. Jim. Alright guys, thanks for coming out to my stream. <laughs> this is why I don't love everything I love gets taken away from me. This is so sad. How will I recover from this? I suppose I could allow only people the button that Jim says Jim. The That's too. Jim. That would actually save me the work of You heard Jim, Jim in the game. <laughs> Jim. 
someone getting a call? The baby is all grown up. Someone answer that call? The same, but in a good, in a good way. Sequel to the. I, I wanted to read all that. New content, new ideas. I'm going for the bucket. Merch. There's a QR code. I'll come back to that. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Indeed. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. This is what I've been waiting for. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. God, I love that fact, laugh. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Hey, yo, it's pouring down like crazy. Now the sun's out. What is going on? I have my bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. <laughs> Why are you so confused, Stanley? What's going on here? Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration like balloons, but I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Hmm. If I say happy 12th birthday, then that means it's twi against Twitch TOS because you have to be 13. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Well, guys, thanks for coming out to the stream. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No. God, if I didn't have my bucket, I'd just shit come oh, far it. cry Maybe everywhere. I have gone with oh, is that no. Darth Vader? No, I've made my decision. We're moving Wait, on. Wait, is that Mariella? Just because one, it's a female. Two, I'm pretty sure that's the same pose. No. Yeah, was that the intro to The Walking Dead? Oh, it's got all different types of new. Infinite hole. <gasps> the jump circle. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. Whoa. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. Whoa. Nah, no clue how to do this. Maybe I'll learn jump storage one day. Maybe not. Hang on. I, I, this is the way to exit, but he's not going to actually let me go. Not yet. I just want to check something out. Why does that look weird? It looks different. Why does that just drop me into the void? Oh, goodness. Um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I, I hate... 
to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. I was watching a playthrough and they just tried to walk past, and it was like, no, no, you need to go back for the bucket and the collectibles. I was like, he tells you to go back for them? Interesting. Oh, I was like, if I drop down here, I can get soft locked. I'll be back for you. Jump circle, we've done that. That's new. Free! New plus easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. It just works. Wow. Portal door, nice. Free achievement. Get yours right now. One, pull the lever. Two, receive your free achievement. Receive your new achievement. Three, no more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing yeah. a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stan. Everything's paid. But I pain. guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise <gasps> it will happen. Yo, that's me? I'm a gamer? I, I hope. Last I was aware I was a gamer. Good at being gay. Shout out to Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay. Good at being gay. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Actually, I'm gonna do this. I see him on Twitter. I see him talk about sports things. I never understand it, but I, I always love the passion. Same with like Hasbro and all that. Like, I wish I could understand sports. I mean, I could. But holy moly, how dig, how deep can we dig? The answer will... The answer will mildly surprise you. Science. More whole. Whole. Depth. Space. Infinity. More. <laughs> For... Educational use only. Stanley. Here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Why this is in fact what? a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Yo, on God? Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Well, you know what they say. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. I mean, we could. Hmm. But I'm a fan now, of the falling. I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Well, now that you've said that, you have. Okay, Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. 
I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? Absolutely if not. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Fine. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Alright. Too bad. Oh, for heaven. You see? Whee! I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with... Okay, yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame oh. of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I'm pressing it. You I even saw me pressing it. That's why you asked. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. Oh, I was mashing it. I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. What? Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. Wait. And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. What? You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. The hole is just a giant Take bucket. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of the trip. Hello? The hole is just a giant bucket. I feel like I'm being plagiarized, whatever that means. I don't think I used that word right, but it's a big word. Uh, help? Narrator? Oh, thank God I have my bucket. No matter what happens, I am ready for it. Me and my bucket. Oh. Narrator! Take my bucket! Take my child! No! You'd be scared of the dark. Down we go.
boy Stanley himself. I was gonna blow my nose. I don't think I have to actually blow it, but just like. What? Wait, what? That's accurate. Bliss. Thank myself. Ah. Uh, wait. No, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Naughty? Oh my god, is that... Is that Giga Chan? Uh, they, I feel like I recognize that art style. Take on me? What is happening? Oh, I changed back. Stanley? 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 Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Uh, and I'm looking wait. forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pit. I should have called this the Toodle Pit ending. Oh no. Not again. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Is the gym button still away? You're absolutely right, Depot. Where's the skip button when we need it? <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore. Does anyone know who I am? I think I was once Jim, but I, I don't remember. It's been so long. I, I feel like I'm just lost. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Mostly infinite hole. Fine, it ended. Yes, Fujia, we have claimed our bucket. Settings world champion. Okay. The fun part. Oh, I almost pressed begin again. That would have been tragic. Wait, what was my thing at? I'll put it at 75. Go back up, yes, silly goose. How have I been streaming for three and a half hours already? Makes sense though. I am big chilling. Put it down the bag. Oh, there's stuff in here as well. See, the thing is, since I already got the achievement, I just have to assume when I have this.
This is the story of a man named Stan. This is the story of a man named Stan. This is the story. <laughs> Alright, after I do the video in simplified controls, I'm pretty sure that should be it. I'll be very surprised. Nani? What did I miss? What the heck could I have missed? I did all those. I, I literally did all these. <laughs> Rip off. The problem is with not having the achievement is there's no way to know. So I probably missed something small, but I'm not about to go through it. It's just a small meme anyway. Oh God. What did I admit? I was like very short. Sure. For someone who's already done this, I'm surprised that I didn't know. Like, I thought I did them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. Okay. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. How did I miss Settings World Champion? God. I mean, apart from the QR code, I think I've got everything. I could, sh I could do the QR code thing later. Yeah, I think I've done everything. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new what? features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here it is. I'm ready, I Captain. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh my god, collectible, give it to me. Um, I want it. Well, oh, there's collectibles um, over I there mean, as well. There's potential here, right? It's there's sort potential, of... okay, he says. Never mind. Hold on, let me do a different array. Oh, the gym button! Okay. Oh yes. no. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. 
version two. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent game of the year? video game at all. Wait, it's a lot of gags. There's buckets. What's and I on the bucket? I really much enjoy creating gags, but or they is don't that add just up to That's a texture glitch. Whoa. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. game. Of the year. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure That must be why they didn't the release the same year as Last of Us 2. They couldn't Maybe lose Game of the Year it. again. Then. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. I actually really like this intro. It gives me the goose pimples. The music, the lighting of it as well, and like the bending corridor, the hallways. It's pretty cool. <gasps> We're coming up to another door. Hang on, I have to see this through. Don't you dare turn. Oh. More hallway? I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I will quickly do something, though. And when I say quickly, I mean, like, literally quickly, because I'm booting the game back up. There is a reason for why I quit the game and booted it back up. Uh, let me just check on my DS what it looks like. It looks fine on my DS, just making sure it's, like, the... Resolution and all that is fine. Hey, it's old. Uh, wait, where's my mouse? Hello? I can't find my mouse button. Hello? Like, it's just not, the, like, it's just hidden. Like, if you can't see it on the stream because I can't see it on my side either. on sure <laughs> sleep at the clock at set at 12 and call it a day so I know you care about this experience you're paying attention I don't even know have any way of knowing if the times you were sitting are correct then wait oh no he no okay yeah yeah misunderstood that Spin so clock to next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. My favorite time? <gasps> four twenty it is, or six? N no, I can't do six p nine oh. Four tw four twenty it is. Sixty-nine seconds exactly. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley Balloons. worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number. And then it says the Stanley Parable too. I'm not going through this cutscene again. You can't make me balloons. All right. So are you gamers ready to see the new content? We are done. Well, there's only one ending we have to get from the vanilla game. But beyond that, we are in the new gone. game territory. Did it mean? Do you know Stanley why? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket. No, no, this is the new, new, new content. Oh, 
please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Yeah, I'm powering up like in Dragon Ball Z. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. You see, now that you've gotten the bucket involved, my standards have gone up. <laughs> Merely clicking a single door is no longer enough. Now, I want to see you press this bucket against multiple doors. Now that's the kind of thing that merits an achievement. Why don't you put 20 bucket touches into door 417? Oh god, I know where that this door is. Okay, great. Now, go touch the bucket on door 437 a few times. That was over here? Yeah. Yes. Now we're getting somewhere. How about door 415? Give it some bucket love. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> now back to door number 437. Can I put the bucket back? No, I can't. Said 437, right? You know, yeah. I think the coffee machine needs some attention. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now bring the bucket on top of employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. Now the bucket knows exactly what it's like to be employee 419. Now, let's introduce it to door 416. It's over this way, right? Yeah. The content door. We've almost got it. Now make the bucket and the copy machine touch again. <gasps> A premarital dinner touching? Scandalous. Finish it off, Stanley. Five touches of the bucket on door 430. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we did it. <gasps> wow. <laughs> that felt amazing. You know, not all buckets will get this kind of I experience. I got the achievement as well. They won't all I don't think it's shown on to slam repeatedly against nearly every door in one section of an office building. Or what it's like to be employee 419. Buckets may dream of an experience like this, but few can say they've truly lived it. You've given a bucket hope today. Stanley, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Is this going to do something? Hello? Oh, well, I'll do that. I'll do that one later on. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. So if you haven't gathered, they've literally just remastered this game. And they've given you a bucket and the narrator comments about the bucket as well. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? But yes, Stanley thought. Like I don't know what yes, they could have done with this was. game, but this was far How better than I thought it could have been. Be. Like I was expecting like a different type of game. No, never mind. But this the is just was wrong. This is just Stanley incredible. Took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. There are balloons They'll ride the up there. All the what way to the, the top. I didn't There's something that. up there I need you to do. <gasps> Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking no. to him. It should have alarmed. Wait, of course, what is that bridge? Was what? But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Bro, that is like the least safe bridge I've ever seen in existence. What the heck? How was that even stood up? Like, how was that even standing there? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I have to go this way to do the uh, another ending real quick. No, actually, it'd be different with the bucket, but either way. 
No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It <gasps> says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, huh? if that's true, well... Hey, the bucket with the lid. I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire so rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Hmm. Chat, what do you think? The first answer I see, I'll go with. Hey, is this a bucket? What do you What do you guys think? I'm literally letting you go. I'm literally letting you guys answer. It's no way, so no, right? I'll let you guys take the first one and I'll get the second one. Well, I saw a no. Good enough. Correct. Hey, it is a look at that. Of a bucket, not an actual bucket. You know your buckets. Item two, is this a bucket? Oh. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. It's fine, D Pro. We have buckets. We don't need lobsters. Not when we have buckets. Item three, is this a bucket? Well, I see Spud redeeming yes, so Spud, let's see if you're correct about this being a bucket. Correct. This is a bucket. Dude, Spud, you know your buckets. I'm so proud of you. Also, what's up, Spud? How are you doing, friend? Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a bucket. Duh. I don't know how he got mad at me the first time when I just knew. You're tired? I feel that. I am a bit sleepy. Is this a bucket? Honestly, if I could, I'd just go lay down and sleep right now, but I have said 41 endings or money back guaranteed. So, here I am. But I'm still having fun though. It's a big chill day gotcha. for me. If it was speed running, I'd feel myself getting not tilted, but like, Wait, just so on. much effort to Let speed run when you're tired. Okay. But either way, you I and I both know there isn't anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. 
Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? This game, this game, you either really enjoy its comedy or you don't, which is rare. Like, there's a lot of, like, I probably, like, only know barely anyone that dislikes this game. The humor's so good of it. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm There's afraid more. the bucket is no. something to tear our relationship apart. I don't <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all Great buckets one. from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything? I've been bucket? teleporting bread for Every three days thing straight. The game was a bucket. Oh my god, I have no idea. How could? Except me. Hashtag safe test. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Sorry, I had to change um, some stuff in my notes. Also, we got another ending. So, boop, boop. Slowly making our way there towards the end of it all. The end of the end of the end. No, you did, but we all, like... Honestly, even if things weren't, I usually am just like, a, I'm good, because it's like... I always like to make sure that the the chat is doing better than I am, you know? No, I appreciate you stopping by. It's always good seeing you. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, bed sounds Stanley fantastic Stanley decided to right go to now. the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But no, you have a good rest, friend. <gasps> Do you think the Stanley will walk past with the bucket? You Stanley don't. lifted the bucket into his arms. Bucket and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley took the bucket with him into this little hallway and closed the doors. This was their hideout. No one would ever find them here. Of course, no one would ever find them anyway because everyone was missing. But Stanley chose to ignore this fact and instead focus on how cool the hideout was. Just him and the bucket, two renegade heroes against the world, inside their secret, undetectable hideout, here, next to room 417. What a treat. <gasps> ah, no, apparently not. Stanley clutched the bucket this tightly chaos to his is? chest and entered it's the door. It's not chaos. There. It's just a bucket. How could you say such a thing? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but yeah, Stanley okay. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge oh, was yeah. simply the place to be. I'm just looking over at my kind of route I'm taking for this. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, but no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Whee! The cargo lift, yes, go there. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket.
Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Hey! Don't try to attack me, I will. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It always is. Look at it, it's blue. And here it was. This is where they're going the to show off Sonic Frontier's gameplay. Correct. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No said the bucket don't go to the meeting room go somewhere else the cargo lift oh well look who's got cold feet well from here it looks like the only way forward is down since the lift won't All be right. coming back but that's okay you've got a bucket did you know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices it's true you can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive Wait, I want to see something. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. It just pours me in mid-air. <laughs> Rude. I feel like someone might have done that already and that's why it pauses you like that. Oh, that's funny. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. He just... Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh. Figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Warehouse access plan. One, produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Two, construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Three, retrieve crystal remains from warehouse floor. Four, construct new structurally sound bridge. Ah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's telling me where all of them are, but it also does this. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Lol, looks like 427. <laughs> I want to go home. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies. Who are you? 666 lol. Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us what something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, TBH. What do they want? Our data, stock options, money. Should we make them employees? Maybe. Interns, yes. What do they kind of look like? Four to seven. Why floating? Magnets? Trainee exercise by management. Our quarterly success? I think so. Artist surrendering employee three. Bonus stuff. What we forgot, what we know, what we don't know yet. Honestly, me. Fill one in cargo room. Employee 421 building a bridge. Rip employee 421. Do we need contacts with them? Potentially liability. NDA. Can we sell them? Obviously. More money if sold together. 
Is there anything on this? No, they changed the whiteboard. Holy. Shut the frick up! The false prophet. Beware the false prophet. Wait, is that a Bioshock infinite refresh? Yeah, it has to be the fo Oh no, it was the false shepherd. Sorry. No, no, no. But wasn't there a prophet as well? No, there was, there was the false prophet and the... the I'm pre was it the false prophet or the false shepherd? Oh my god, I need to play Bioshock Infinite again. Where are they? Please, do not leave office the office building before reporting back on any new files. Teamwork and communication are of great importance during this unpre unprecedented time of investigation. Thank you. Help, I'm a post-it. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. It's all for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh no, we're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety <laughs> of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have Expand shared. Expand Dawn. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket. Yo, as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. <gasps> there. Now it's settled. Glorious. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Where would you even put the bucket? Maybe in the corner here? But it just does not belong. It just does not belong. All right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Slap it, Daddy. Oh. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. True. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Glorious. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I heard the glow. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. When he first said, like, Figglies, I was like, what about Stan Lorraine? And then he said that, I'm just like, well, that's the name but again. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why... Why is there no three? Risk? Because Valve because hates three. because he believed three. everyone oh. had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. 
Isn't that strange, Stanley thought? Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's <gasps> just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. Oh, God. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows my what bucket. sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the runes were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, <laughs> it's me, the bucket. But it truly is. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket. Oh, after they the spawned None behind me. That was tricky. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, well dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Oh my god, guess the hallway. What the heck? Um, okay, quickly change the thing to point five now, because that was that ending. Sorry, I just quickly went to the bathroom while all that happened. But I came back in time to hear the... And she backflipped all the way to work, and that's just the best part. <sighs> I wish I was that skilled. Um, wait. Yo, what's up, Thunder Fox? Stanley picked up How are we doing? Okay, this is... He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. So this is not interesting. The um, alone. the ending that I'm going to do now is the escape pod ending. So I've never seen it open from this door. So let's see if this ending actually works. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Because I need to go somewhere without the bucket to get one of these collectibles. It's okay. That's good to hear. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. Um, if I did, you can here. guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. And that's the broom closet ending with the broom? With the bucket? A on you. I appreciate it. And honestly, that's fair. I respect it. You enjoy it when you do play it. And I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're doing well, friend. Coming to a staircase, 
Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm literally covering light as much as the game I can. I think I'm only missing like two endings from this. Actually, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and figments. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? <laughs> Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Also, I got chocolate, which I can't wait to snack on in a second. Stepping in. Cool. So, like I said, I never seen it. Actually, wait, can I open this door? Wow, it really does lock those doors as well. It has to be in the Gaster hallway. Wait, if I... Oh, wait, wait. If I went through this... If I went through the other way, could I have done that? <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> wait a minute. Bruh, they changed... The <laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs> and look, the pedestal for the bucket isn't even there. Oh my god. <clears throat> they literally had to put it back to the original layout because they didn't have um, anything in the gas to hallway there. That's funny. There's like two gas the hallways, if not more. <clears throat> All right, so after this one, I'm going to get the final vanilla ending done for the game, and then it's all new content from there. It'll become obvious why I'm doing this when I get to um, the other ending. I'd also like to point out now, uh, this is the most messed up ending. It's called the Zending, and if you don't do well with any sort of um, stuff like suicide and all that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you the warning of it now because it's my least favorite ending just because of the way it's done. And so for anyone that does have any sort of like reaction to that sort of stuff is, isn't able to handle it, I am giving you the warning now. This cracked me up the first time when I saw this. I'm just like, why are you shushing the bucket? Where men cry. <laughs> so sad. Chocolate. So I'm a fat bitch. I need chocolate. Just a step through <clears> this <throat> door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. I can't believe my bucket isn't there. 
when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I get the one over there? Yes. Look, Stanley, <coughs> I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yo, Sales. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm Hope not. you're doing well, friends. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be <coughs> difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Mm. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero Danger. consideration Danger for everywhere. others? Are you that convinced <laughs> that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your Whee! side. Give me a pen. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the first one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. You hear that, chat? None of us can. We're all in this together. You'll never go back to how you were before this. You'll never know what it was like having zero St Stanley Figler and Marines in your possession. <clears throat> See, I am a people of the person, uh, people of the people, people of the person, person of the people, something like that. What's this cup say? We're the best co-worker. Okay. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God! You Once again, for those that me. don't Do you see that I really handle any sort of death, suicide time. stuff, the problem is all well, these choices. The uh, two of us always trying the, to get somewhere this is not that isn't the here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution here. Let me show you. Ah! Is that loading? Yeah. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, if that I was... just stay right okay. here, the right hole. in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I feel... <coughs> I feel I actually feel happy. <laughs> no, wait. Where are you going? I'm sorry, I'm getting this. Oh no. Stay <clears throat> away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I hate this Please, one so Stanley. much. No! I'm just oh, getting this over no. and done with. I oh, hate this ending doing, so much. Please, I'm asking this is my least favorite ending of them all. Me. I can't go back to what I was before. <laughs> if you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? There's a lot Stand more to this me. ending. Every Let's time, yeah, room. every time you jump off, you or really you go you back like and there's game. more dialogue. But I'm not about to go through that. Over over to As you can tell, I'm getting slower and it just. To keep me from being happy. I, I really not a fan of this one. Correctly? Maybe you're just getting accustomed to it. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. <clears throat> I hate it. Get me out of it. Is it over? It's going to restart it. Yes, I'm counting that there. I'm not listening to the rest of that. The zending is not a good ending. Yeah, Miyamoto, that's why I gave the warning of it. Out of all endings in this game, the Zending is the worst one of them all. It's my least favourite. 
for obvious reasons. Well, we can at least move past that, I guess. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. My bucket. And try not to lose this one too, you dolt. But also, what up, me and Marta? How we doing? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him God, that the employee ending. Thank God it's just over. I'm just going to move on from that. I'm not even going to dwell on it. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No, never mind. Doing good. It's good to hear. I'm a bit tired, but other than that, Stanley I'm doing good. The door on his left to go back to the meeting. I didn't really feel like speed running today, so I was just like, let's just no, play Stanley Parable. Said the bucket. Let's just have a big chill Don't day. go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. <laughs> now ride the lift all the way to the top. And now There's we're going to actually get a, good, need you to a do. funny ending. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't Last talk. stream was so but fun. Stanley I'm glad you like it. Stanley not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had He's stepping outside of Sonic content. And he unthinkingly oh, did whatever the bucket asked. Stepping outside of Sonic content is always like... There'll be the few people that watch me, but I won't get the numbers that I do in, in here, Unleash. Said the bucket. Go into this dark room Not like it's here. a revolutionary Stanley, number, again, but... Obeyed blindly. Still, though, streaming to where... Like, barely anyone shows up is a bit... Taxing, I guess? Just on your soul and everything, like, it just feels tough. Yee. Yeah. I appreciate it, Miyamoto. I know the real ones. Alright, so... Now pick up the phone, said the... Be quiet, narrator, I'm talking. So, in my route here that I've got for the endings, it says that I'm supposed to pick up the phone, but I'm going to swap it, and I'm going to disconnect the phone first, because the disconnecting okay. phone is pick up ending the phone, is so much fun. And it will take a... Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? I'm... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, this is what I right watch. Here. If Let's you want to be as funny as I am, this is the video for you. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly... Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions optimal. for good comedic timing. <laughs> to begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Mm -hmm. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. 
<laughs> this saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rat they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Hard data implies An effective the existence survey of soft should be data. no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Did we swap videos halfway through? What happened? Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in <laughs> mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of... Sorry, I, I love those... Um, uh, like the, the instructional videos they have. The other one was good. But the comedic timing one is so much better because it's already funny and then it just goes to a war thing. <laughs> just war. <laughs> How did they come up with this stuff? This again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. I love comedy. <gasps> Chat, I don't want to alarm you, but I've only just noticed. One of my stickers is gone. We... Where did my bucket sticker go? I might actually break down in tears right now. I, I, I feel like I've lost so much right now. I just don't even know what to do with my life right now. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious cause. We never had The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we have the instructional I'm video. pretty sure I had my Otherwise, original bucket before the be right um, instructional video. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The king the of comedy? The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke to the bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink Do not things. lie. If you're lying right now, stop. I feel like I've had a lot to stream. I've, I haven't had the phone call yet, which is interesting. I had the um, other work repair. For those that don't know, there's an Easter egg where, like... In a window like that, you'll see someone walking outside there, and it looks like another Stanley. Uh, I've never had that. I watched the Secrets video, and I learned about it, and I got it, like, real early in the stream. <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. The left? Gotcha. Where am I? What? what? We're back at the phone already. Motion, motion. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several motion, motion, rooms motion. leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. Honestly, I don't even know how to use a dial-up phone anymore. Comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. If you put a dial-up phone in front of me, I wouldn't begin. know how to use it. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. I think... I think I need to go back and re-watch that instructional video again. Take me with you. Yes, surely. That will help me improve my... Oh. Here we go. You ready? 
When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I can literally see the phone right there already. What? Uh, we're back at the phone already? Oh, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Let me up. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed every one of our meetings from I can't now actually on. Go in all there. because you so. couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you own it. It's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? Okay, you heard me the first it's time, but I don't know about that one. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. What's another word? a bucket. Stanley, this bucket is so mental, I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. You're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of it. I'm just, I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly Stanley what doesn't have a handle of his bucket. <laughs> more instructional videos. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I'm right, I'm right. Never mind, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Since I put the other ending first, I got Stanley mixed up the with the number of endings. This was not the correct way <clears> to the <throat> meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. I should go to the meeting room. I shouldn't room. deviate go somewhere too else. far from the car what I put out of my Good, Otherwise, I'm going to forget what I've done. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Did I take off the Zending? I'm pretty sure I did. Have I missed one? Because I'm pretty sure I In also here, did the broom closet the as well. Go into this dark room we'll, over we'll, here. We'll see how it goes. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I, I pick up the phone here, right? Yeah. Now pick up the phone. Yes, yes, my overlord bucket. The ruler supreme. <clears throat> this is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressing, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Bucket? Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's go, bucket. Let's go. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? 
I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. bucket? You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me, he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. His stupid hunk of metal. Adventure awaits. Wish you were here, the freedom he did. Mind control. I played the demo. I actually did play the demo. Did you play the demo? It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to okay. cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store <laughs> bucket. It's just a little... Wait! Wait, does anyone get the reference with this book? Like, was the Yellow Pages, like, a worldwide Sturdier, thing? More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. <gasps> Yo! Yo, shit! Wait, 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 wait. It's literally, it's literally me right now. Look! Look at this! I think so. Okay. Well, well, one, it's been literally forever since, like, the yellow pen. Like, it, phone books were even a, uh, a relevant thing. But two, it's me! It's me in my bucket. Oh my bucket. god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? going on why do i want to be with the bucket hear what the bucket has to say do anything it asks what's wrong with me i don't understand perhaps perhaps if i had the bucket this would be less confusing yes the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation stanley give me the bucket give it to me give me the bucket stanley i need it give it to me now Close give it eyes. or i'll What is it with this game? <laughs> Either some of these endings are hilarious or they're just weird. What's up, Mixer? Dude, Mixer, you're absolutely right. I need the bucket. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley. Bro, this How amusing phone just, just does not oh, exist. Oh, we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone... Where are we going today, the bucket? You don't know where you just walked Stand into? Alright. Just smile. Do Anywhere you know the Stanley Parable at all? Mix up. Would be perfectly fine with Because if not, I can give you a quick explanation about it. It is a game about choice. There is always a choice to make, whether it be the right choice or the wrong choice. This is the first example. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go this way. This was not because the correct I, way I messed to the up. meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh, we're here for that. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, at the moment, I'm just like doing all the endings because I really enjoy this game. 
But yeah, it's like it's not like it's just a game about choice. It's not really Surely, like being here with the butler was a every time you do an ending, like it just respawns you back in the office. There's like First, dialogue that changes here and there, but then beyond that, the lounge, then arriving at the lounge, what a thrilling journey! I wouldn't no, say you'd get no, hundreds of hours worth of content from this on. game, but it's Stand as much as you want to play. To go back to the meeting room. Because I've also, there's also been things happen in this stream that I've never had happen in this game before. Yes, I need to go this way. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. <coughs> Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes. Not this shit? bucket that you they've the never seen before. before? Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line. Dude, go don't worry, mix up. Modern yes, Warfare. Yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is coming out this year, so I'll get the intervention again. I never sniped, but I'm going to be using the shotgun because the baby freaked me out right there. I was just like, Boo! Also, look at this. Toes. Whoever wanted the toes earlier, there you go, you sicko. You sicko. Oh, no, it was feet. That's right. Close enough. Oh, I need a serious room. By the way, if anyone knows how to activate the server console for a Valve game, because it's usually... Uh, can I do it through the settings? Maybe the... Uh, probably not through this stuff. I'll, I'll figure it out somehow. <clears throat> because I need to. I need to cheat. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Do you? Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. You ain't getting money because I'm fulfilling the 41 endings. Also, what's up? <clears throat> Game ain't gonna have the same. Uh, wh what? What? Hello? I'm just there to shoot people on Modern Warfare 2 and go back to my old toxic days before I actually cared about what I said on the internet. Hello? <clears throat> Broom Closet ending is your favourite? Just absolute class. What the heck? Can I leave? Hello? Help? Adventure Line, save me. <clears throat> Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. Yeah, it, the Adventure Line trademark. The like, they even refer to it trademark. Adventure Line I will never save you. I think it'll make a wonderful what? new addition to the lore of the Stanley Parable. Yeah, True, yeah, it also was not in the original mm, game, but it's such help. a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out You're for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when Chat, you're Chat, say your goodbyes. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I have that to. is its singular personality trait. 
Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of no, beloved Stanley Parable characters? Oh, I off. Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... It's funny you mention floating in space, Steve, bro. destroyer my prized creation you had so much potential we were going to do such marvelous things with you tell such spell-binding stories about you all of it squandered now goodbye new friend me when i'm having a bad day and something minuscule happens <laughs> you were i just blow up <clears throat> wow that was a cheeky addition in because since it was all white you didn't even see me change it from 30 to 31 cheeky monkey <clears throat> you messed up my <laughs> oh god I stubbed my pinky on the vacuum <laughs> this was years ago but I remember doing that and my mom's like it looks like it hurts it's just like unbelievably so I think I crushed my little pet. No, I, I did bruise it a bit. Like, I didn't I didn't hit it hard, but, like, the way I hit it, like, it was right at the tip. And then uh, it just, like, two days later, it just starts turning black underneath. And now I'm just like, oh, sick. Floating in eternity. Look, Deepro, you're asking too much. Um, the end mix up. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Mean? But I'm Stanley definitely going to play Modern Warfare 2. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble. Oh, there he is! The, the, the boy himself! Kid bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co workers really all be gone? <laughs> Toxic stream, yes. yeah. I'm not Wish streaming it. Into Stan's ear. <laughs> We've done it. I'll get string side. I'm so popular. That pesky narrator. <laughs> At last, out here in the white void, we are alone now, and for the first time, I can reveal Have to you, you seen this my with the bucket? true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's Got own you. complicity therein. Of sadness. You've seen them all? Okay, because I'm doing the vent ending after this, so it makes sense to do this one first, then the vent the ending with the bucket. The because if you've seen it, then you know what I'm stronger. talking about. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm the deep glow of, of the bucket must be spread out in chronological the order. Opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done. Perhaps, perhaps, I can just play it for nostalgia. Itself. Hello, perhaps, Nixon. <laughs> if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. Oh, you're funny. This was way too much for Stanley. <laughs> what are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket. To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. Furrowed its now, brow. Said the bucket. Not since the evil <clears throat> wizard Gamhorata oh, deeper, I first just went out the me in his machinations as and I'm learning the truth the about the bucket. Amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young about the wizard Gamhorata. I could not conceive the ramifications of. No! <laughs> Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid. You are a bucket. This is so stupid. Why are we even doing this? Yeah, I did the, um, the bottom screen. room earlier. Really, uh, the heaven bucket ending. revealed its true form, transforming into a Nothing changes if you take the heaven, uh, bucket of heaven. It's glistening like. Same with the office ending. My God. 
By the way, Chad, I hope you win the test the bucket. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. I'm rebooting the game, just give me a second. Yeah, the blood really caught me off guard, I'm just like, wh what? What? Close, close, close. Watch out, dude. Watch out, dude. Where, where is my mouse? Thank you. There it is. God, it didn't. It didn't give me the mouse last time, so I had to like blindly navigate this part. <clears throat> I forgot I could put my favorite time of the day. <laughs> oh. The crazy thing is it just changed to 207, so it's not even entirely accurate. Oh, I'm in shambles. <laughs> you know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I had. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard, yeah. Let me whip up a couple of new ones. A couple of new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Yo, Sam, I put 420 as well, but I actually remember to do that. I even said when I was doing the other one, I'm like, I'm going to put 420 in as my favorite time because I can't do um, 069 and like all that or 69 year. Oh, you could do six, like, this is the story. nine past six. It's, All of it's too late. We've squandered gone. the opportunity. What could it mean? I thought that was Stanley a turn for a second. To go to We've the squandered meeting. the opportunity. Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. the bucket to be Sonic? But I wouldn't feel the same about it because I love the bucket. Stanley? I love the bucket. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. <laughs> the bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Can't do 666. So many missed no, opportunities. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. We're not going to the cargo lift. We're going to learn about, like, if I didn't play the window ending before this, this would make little to no sense. But even then, it still makes, like, no sense. Stanley vented? Sus. Sussy. Okay. This is day number Enjoy this wild trip. Tape number. I don't even know. I've lost track. This bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. In the emptiness in my chest, when I set it down, make sense there's no explanation for it I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms why everything feels so <laughs> what do I do with this treasure I can I can monetize it. Yes. It 
It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? the devs were on when they made this game I'm pretty sure that's the only lore we get about Gambarato all of his co-workers were gone oh, that what could it mean just doesn't make sense. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room the Stanley made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker in time perhaps he would become both of those things big and true We've done that. Wait. I have. <clears throat> Why do I have window winding twice? I've done all the ones to the right. Then they clutch the bucket tightly. To I've his done Mary. Yeah, I've done Mariella. Yeah, I did all the vanilla stuff first. Um, so like all the vanilla endings are done and all that. I'm trying. Why do I have window twice? Did I mess up? I must have. There's a forty-one before. Coming I've to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Wait. Oh, oh! I know. I I know which one I've missed. I've missed the Figley's ending. Okay. I thought I just saw someone standing there. Oh yeah, I know which one I've missed now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah, because I'm doing the... the... All along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, yeah, yeah, this all makes sense, yeah. Because now is the, um, 3333 three, three, three ending. And there it is, the last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own Mesh reward. Three. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and, and we, we can't, can't have, have that. that. <laughs> so, instead, I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. I don't remember what I was doing before I collected all the figurines. I was a different person back then. I was so young, so naive. Wait! Oh no, wait, no, that's the next one. Bottom of the mind control. The engine. elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. They make more endings. This it DLC, like, do to keep himself this only it's just came out, bucket. like, recently in Soothing the last him, month, so... Reassuring that and in it this took them nine years to make, so I don't know if they will ever right. update this game again the with more content. Is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. But I hope that maybe one day we'll get more Stanley Parable content. But if not, this is good to end it off on. At least it's not like The Last of Us 2. <laughs> and disappointed the shit out of me. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number. I gotta quickly say though, when I when I bought Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and played it, I didn't expect to play the same game just with the bu with the bucket. They've really like, I don't know what to expect, but the fact that it's the same game just with the bucket, 
and the fact that it's not even the same game just from that is incredible. Three. I want to go back like, so I can try pressing the number three again. I don't know. But, uh, the, it's just wild expectations because whatever any expectations I had just did not meet this, but this is just blowing it out of the water. Like, it just really makes a big difference even with like just the natural gameplay as well here we are said stanley now i'm going to try out that number three button he took the bucket over to the keypad and began abs well he said the number three is such a special button i'm having the time of my life stanley looked expectantly at the bucket but the bucket remained silent this was a shock to stanley who had always felt such a connection with the bucket how was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. I didn't hear about that. I knew it was delayed because I remember they were talking about it. Like, it was supposed to come out the same year as Last of Us 2, but it just didn't. But I never gave up um, hope and faith that the game would come out sooner or later. It was delayed for quite a bit. God, they almost took 10 years between this the and the original. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Any drive drug shoot? Yeah, I try like a hint of regret nagged. For in the me, back if it was mind. like I listened to Could it, then I just like the number three when, the when it's again. on my mind, I all like I the time for it just goes so much slower than no, no, when no, no, if no, I ignore said it. Stanley to the and then hear you about can't it. Go on so, yet. Not till you understand the how much the number long, three you know? means to me. You and I have been through so much together, lots. and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. I played the original myself. I think I just was looking at indie games on Steam, and I was like, this looks like an interesting game. I did, and we're getting stuff on Frontiers tomorrow, like... I will be shocked if they Here actually go, release Stanley. it this, this year. Time I'll really show you. On that said he ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He Life told stories frontiers? through the number uh... three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. The time, yeah, I guess. He looked to his I, bucket at the moment, I'm just like, like, kind. okay, I'm not wanting to stay blind. I'm more just wanting to know if they're going to delay it or not, because that's what I think it is. The bucket you don't hear the stomach anymore. That's fair. Only silence. I think after so much forces, I'm more just caring about Stanley like if it'll be a good game elevator. or not. That's really about it. Like I'm not like. Honestly, my love for games has really died out thanks to like Stanley COD and the games and so The Last close. of Us. They'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? Being a game is the tough. question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. Surprise! It's happening. It is happening. I don't know if it'll happen when it's set in wood. To communicate fully with his dear friend, surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? <laughs> what did the last of us do? Everything wrong. Unless you're Sam. I love Sam, but God, I cannot. Not. <laughs> normally, I know what to do. normally I respect people's opinion on my side. I sure I don't like this. The second one. The first one did nothing wrong. The first one did everything right. The second one goes against the world that the first one set up. It's just, it doesn't it doesn't keep consistency with the game. I don't know how people can like that game. I I genuinely cannot. I can see. <sighs> no, I just can't see it. <laughs> I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. Because I feel like he they're just like. Right then and there, that it would hold a press me, where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate what, fully on what, what number mix three up? meant to him. And why he felt so alive when pressing it. I've heard then some stupid things, but I think I'm not lying. Joy through the eyes of <laughs> Stanley Parable's art. I'm enjoying this. Discovery of Stanley's. <laughs> and it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally like, understand Stanley's The Last of Us. Work. 
Last of Us 2 stuff is good. The story that Last of Us had, like, the way it does the story from, like, um, because we're essentially in Joel's point of view, like, with Ellie, because our relationship with Ellie as a character grows along with Joel type deal. The storytelling is done really well, and just Last of Us 2 does not have the same. For months, he advertised and marketed his press I get that mixed up, Building but... excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, uh, until it Last couldn't of us be refined real. a single measure further. Uh, mix when up. Unless you arrived, know what The Last Stanley of Us 2 did, you're really just talking a lot right now. Ever been for anything in his like, life. Mm, I just cannot agree with you when you're just saying words right now. There's a rat over there, by the way. Like, mix up. Go, like, unless you know The Last of Us 1 and 2 and their stories, like, it j like you're, all you're doing is assuming at the moment. Yeah, actually, just saying words. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm almost taking the bait. But I mean, come <laughs> But it's just, I don't feel as passionate about that. Like, I just, it should have been so much this more. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection. The reason why I'm so one. mad is because I just had such immense love for the first, and I was hoping, like, from people defending the games. The, see, the problem is they won't even admit the flaws of it, while I do. Like, I still give it praise for the good points it has, but the... There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really uh, means to press the number three on a keyboard. I guess it was a sequel either. prequel, but then again, you could say he that for Red Dead Redemption. Uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper really understanding. The, what is it with the bucket merely sat okay. there in his arms. In like, there's nothing wrong with watching so it, it but I feel like you're missing out on a lot years, of um. The two of them grew oh, more and on, more distant. On, they spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit. Only a silence that consumed the space between friends. Three. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Oh my god, wait, 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 chat. I only just realized the ending dry now is 3-3. Three, three. I could not have timed this any better. I thought that's what you were... No, absolutely not. I'm actually going off my list right now, so it was not what I was going for. No, I picked up the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Those figures. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. I Was forgot I did this. Was <laughs> intrinsically fulfilling moment of your mm -hmm. entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Yo, back to Elden Ring, I let's go. nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Wait. <gasps> it's showing the wormhole. Oh my god, I'm breaking the game. Wacky effect? Okay, so it's not, uh, the, the game actually works in wormhole effects. So what you're seeing right here, everything in this room... Okay, everything in this part beyond this door is not actually there. When I get to here, I am essentially... T yeah. You watched the video? Okay, yeah. I'm just explaining it for everyone else, or I was at least trying to. 
because I did not know this game was as complicated as that. Like, that blew my mind. I was like, what? And he calls it a lazy way. I was like, dude, I've never seen this before. I did, like, I, I was mind blown. For, like, like <laughs> seeing it from a gaming point of view, like, how it's so, such an immense immersion thing. Like, he's told me, and, like, I still don't believe it, like, unless I see something like that. Like, walking into the mind control facility, I can't believe that. Wait, where'd the game go? The game's gone. Hello? Speaking of The Last of Us. Hmm. Ah. Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stan. I remember when I first collected this, like this. Except the number went to seven instead of one. But other than that, everything else was accurate. Good times, good times. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the warehouse. You I love that you can't fall off here. There are invisible honest. walls here to Back make sure then, you can't. I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable thank you, thank you. ways. My chat tells me the same thing. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Well, can you remember? chat, can you remember where it is? I'm... 99% sure I know which one it is, but can you remember which one it was? I don't, well, I, I don't expect you to. I don't think, I don't even think you were here for it. <laughs> was you here for it? I don't actually know. You could have been lurking at the port. Like, yeah, it was a, I haven't collected them all at one, like, it's been, like, through the span. And everyone else who was here just cannot remember. Alright. Well, I'm 99% sure it is under the stairs. If not, I'm going to be embarrassed. Hey, that's a exactly right. It was here under the stairs. Collect the it last one. The yeah. One. I, it it would have been either the fifth or the sixth. You had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Wait, really? Huh. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a fig leaf in this. I can't say I didn't know that. Oh, well, I can't actually yeah, I know it doesn't matter either way. Room, but but I can't say I didn't know that it was set so it like that, been. predetermined. Meat o burrito. Oh my god. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It this is gonna be a good one. Red and blue dolls. I remember this is gonna be so a good one. Clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate I haven't seen this one, so I'm trying to see every single one of them. Laughing the times, the stuff like this and like the the basic images. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Best boy in America. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? <laughs> I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Early 2000s. And any sort of thing. But that was peak content back then. That was unrivaled content. A 
And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here behind the boss's office. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Big if true. What the? Well, my immersion is ruined. The past. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh, rude. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See Have to go how through here feels. if we're doing it backwards. Okay, yes, the back of the boss's office. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. <gasps> ah, I hate the red door. I'm going through the blue door. And again. here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> yeah. I love that video. Good video. <laughs> the fact that it's sped up and doesn't even Still show anything pages, either is Stanley. just Still brilliant. No memory of this one. Good room though. Peak. A solid room. Peak comedy. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm know. very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. De deba debatable, debatable, debatable. Boxes? Oh my god, they're solid. Who to thunk it? Not, not I. Certainly not I. What? <gasps> This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Past is cringe, bro. This Embrace is your cringe. the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Ah, yes. The classic jump circle. Good old times. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. Time does put a rosy <laughs> filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memory. I need to figure out how to do junk storage. Breaking the Stanley Parable seems like fun. Oh. I gotta do it, Morty. It's morphing time. Uh. Now I've seen that number go red in all the different places. Glorious. Oh, yes. The two dwarfs. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. No, wait. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came yeah, yeah. Your There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was, <laughs> I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. Me before and I started watching somewhere anime. Somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. 
He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. You know, I just looked over at my notepad and I still haven't got the whiteboard ending, which is kind of distressing. The bucket did not react. Hello? Wait, 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 wait. What was that? 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 All of his co workers were gone. Nor have I had this phone go off either. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. We only got six more endings now. Well, five consistent endings. The whiteboard Still ending no is random. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he coming to a staircase. Stanley and the Meow. bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Meow. Business strategy. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, by, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certain. Did I actually get on the table? It was so dark I couldn't tell. Meow. God, I might have actually been able to do a speed run for this. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large all runs door that takes around, like, mind control facility. Seven showers, which is kind of nuts. The lights rose Whee! on an enormous room packed with. But just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually, they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. It really wasn't so bad down here, a bit cold, perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves as well, and a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving for meals. <laughs> but it wasn't until the rugs and the standing lamps came in that it really started to feel like a home. In fact, after some time, Stanley realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. It unsettled the bucket deeply. Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket. It was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. 
This is just a hole in the ground. Well, it's not anything. Oh. Bucket sighed. True. It wasn't anything. No, don't agree, Bucket. It's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. I hope so. It's what the Bucket was counting on. The two of them waited for a very long time. Hey, it's an ending. Nice! Okay. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. What have we Stanley got now? Checked his ego the and then museum and the mind Stanley control. Stanley the bucket tightly oh. to his chest and entered the Yeah, it's just the hand. museum and the mind control endings now. Still no one was here. And then Stanley we need the whiteboard the ending and then the... Perhaps I'm considering the epilogue ending to, to be staircase. the end. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. And then we'll have done them all. Wow! How does Stanley he do it? To his manager's office, Stanley was How does he parable the Stanley? To discover not an indication of any group, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Uh, we'll do one of the mind control ones and then the museum, then another the mind control. Rather than walk all the way back to the mind control twice. I mean, we have to, but split it up. Damn, look at the speed. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitor literally zooming, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had well, the real era, please like stand this, up. And it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. That's actually what it says. I always tried to set, like, I even took note of why, which ones had was the era stuff and all that. The mind control facilities Wait, there was a pirate somewhere, where? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish pirate. to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's no, control? Never! Yeah. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one yeah, friend man. in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no so one sad. except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, right, we'll Stanley the decided that oh, this no, was I slipped. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. So I was looking at something. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another. And then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility. What the heck's going on there? <laughs> it was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. <gasps> Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal oh. genius in his hand. Bliss. The one Whoa, what who the hell was that? Him towards this hey, incredible yo. discovery. 
Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his it's life over, could have taken, this I have the high ground. was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. The bird on the left is literally getting attacked out of bully. Like, look at that. It's like, hey, yo, yo, back up, back up. Hey, yo, back up, man, back up. <laughs> Good ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley, Stanley? cradled the bucket Stanley. in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his lap. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of the like the smallest the code by inputs Mark. ever. How was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. God, I can't imagine if I decided to actually do the four hour ending. Maybe one day, I don't know. No, it doesn't even seem like it's worth it. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read mind control. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. At the Bucket would? Oh no. Stand here for every. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Big if true. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Hey, went through that pipe. Immersion ruined. How could you? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? True. This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Oh yeah, clap my thick chick. Wait, what? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. Well, that's a little awkward. As Stanley and the bucket <laughs> were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's <laughs> life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. <laughs> oh, God. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are raging in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. I'm glad we got to learn about the game. Now we get to learn about the bucket. The bucket welcomed you to the grand exhibit. You were standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty with a, a carnivorous void. Carnivorous? A, ca a cavernous void. I cannot read. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and rich and sustained? No. I don't actually know how to say that word. The judge, it just spells it out. Am I okay? No, I failed English. Like, <laughs> is it that obvious? Do I look like I'm someone who knows how to say words? 
Not to mention I'm a bit dyslexic. Like, anything above eight letters. Like, knowledge is something I can barely spell out loud. Like, anything above eight letters I struggle with. Ignorance and darkness. All right, I hope you all read that. I'm being judged. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that did. blinded him? Oh, well, at least we're good at rugby. Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in <coughs> his short life? Oh, sorry. I'm allergic to bullshit. And what Depro said just got me. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, God. Deeper, what have you done? You've got me. Also, is this 25 buckets? Can someone count for me? I can't count. Because I, I can't read, so by extension, I can't count. Quick maths. Wait, no. I can't do that. So like twenty, at least twenty-five though. Gotcha. Harker the fridge joke. Hey, thanks, man. I haven't done the Harker in forever. Then again, I don't do sports stuff anymore. Oh, game man, game man, acquire bucket, bucket good. Oh. <laughs> no man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Oh my god, I'm gonna mute and blow my nose because for some reason my right nostril has literally just become encompassed. Back to my- that implies I left my caveman roots. What do you think we are? We're not a- we're not a tribe, we're a family. Which is kind of the same thing? Anyway, give me a second. Oh, bit better. Alright. So, I either get into the bucket, or I get into the big bucket right there. That's the infinite hole. Alright, you ready? Ah! Yeah, I don't know why there's an there infinite... Like, how does the bucket get do. up? Something we can Is do it one of those one-sided walls from a Sonic game? Right this terrible wrong. Let's stand it down. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. What? The bucket should take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Ah. Uh. Step bro, I'm stuck between these giant things crushed and smushed. <laughs> oh, that's why I don't stream for long. <laughs> also, I'm low on sleep. Hang on, where's my mouse where it is? Boop. Not many more now. Uh, help, I cannot. There we go, there we go. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stop. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Did they actually stop? No. No, the orders were still missing. For now, so, right, me and the Stanley bucket here. simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go anywhere. I think there's one that. more, but I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure there's 43 himself, endings in total. Wait. Nothing will hurt me. But I can't Nothing remember the other one. Me. But I can't I can find any place that confirms it either. Like I've heard different numbers. Stanley waited. Hours passed. 
Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he... This ending's still the same. I mean, I, I got it from all the endings uh, from a YouTube video as well. So the only one I didn't include was the baby one. But I still feel like I'm missing one. I, I don't know. Oh my god, the whiteboard ending, of course. You were just about to say, what were you about to say? Like, what am I doing with the resets right here? Give me one sec. It's that time again. Also, while I'm here, I might as well quickly check my hours and... Wait, I have... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Stanley Parable, I played for 5.7 hours and I played the demo for just under an hour. Wait, there's, a, there's an achievement in the demo? I only just noticed that. No. Might have to boot up the demo. <laughs> yeah, as I like relaunch Stanley Parable, I just look over and I see like one like zero out of one achievements unlocked. I'm like, wait, what? The <gasps> the best. <laughs> wait, why is that heart smaller? What? Uh, I guess because it was small. Absolutely beautiful. Till, till, until the number five becomes the number nine. Okay. Now, which number nine is it talking about? Is it talking about this one? Is it talking about this one? Is it talking about this one? Or is it talking about this one? I kind of want to pick this one. Oh, not that one. Nine, obviously. Thank you for your insight. We will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will. Five death, five death, five death, five death. Patrick! Up your boing call. Yes. Yes. What is time anyway? Yes. Yes. Like my shoe size. Help. Yes. Come back to visit me? Of course. I love how everyone I've watched, including myself, like, we all say yes, but then we get, like, to that last one where it's just like, absolutely, we'll come back. Like, we don't say yes. We're just like, of course, absolutely. You bet. Is that even a question? Whiteboard ending! Bruh. I can't believe I've been playing for like almost six hours and I haven't had the whiteboard ending yet. Ah! Uh. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never st Well, it's not like I can go back to find out. Bleh. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No. No, surely not. Exactly. Oh, I'm not going to keep sitting there restarting, so we might as well Stanley do the other ending. The bucket tightly and then we just have to wait for the white boy ending. The door on his left. Dude, Still you don't no know the here. deep lore Stanley of Stanley and, and his parability? 
Perhaps his boss's office was where coming to a stack. Also, what's up, Sean? Stanley and the bucket walked up to the boss's frame. office. Stepping yeah, into zero the idea. office, Stanley was this is a game about choice to discover not an indication of any human life, but Stanley guessed the correct. Like, it, it's a very narrative heavy game about choice, where what no matter what choice you make. Yes. Well, I mean, this is certainly the most choice. Tell me I'm wrong because the first, like, the first options that they present you with are the doors, and that's a choice. Like, it's a game about choice and a game about not having any choice. The elevator raced down, plummeting Can't towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. The important thing about this game is I have a bucket. That's really what's important here. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Well, I got the nine thousand. Yeah, actually. Then again, some people still read the Sonic comics. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The Bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly... Wait, what is that? Tears. What is that? What, what, what is in that? What, what, what was in that box? You got like a radioactive cat or something? What is going on? Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furious. There's a ladder? That's an office? Huh. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. The Never. Boy pirate. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, Content? working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the buck. This is yes. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country <laughs> on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. Yeah, wanting to sneeze they, in every country on earth in this day and age is dangerous. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Even the facility I mean, itself you could recognized see the incredible on. calming presence right. of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket. Well, so I don't think you'd really get arrested for just sneezing. Like, if you sneeze mm -hmm. on someone with the intention Stanley of, like, being COVID or something, not while he has such a then it's a problem, but if you're just arms, sneezing. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. 
To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Now we actually just have to keep restarting until we get it. I can't believe I haven't had the whiteboard in here yet. This is crazy. I've had this whole way twice. Has Stanley lifted his bucket? I've had essentially almost everything. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Hmm. <gasps> Finally! All of this... As Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection to all buckets everywhere. This adventure, he decided, was for all of Good. This could have taken so much longer. Like, I say finally as if it took a while, but it's just the problem that it could have taken so much longer. Stanley placed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Oh, I thought there was a horse for a second, but it's a bed table. <laughs> That's about to be like haunts. Oh, God. You want your money back? What, what are you talking about? I'm not finished. God, everyone's so eager for their money that they're not getting. For one, I didn't get any money to begin with. Not from the people that are wanting money, so I don't know what you want from me. Does anyone truly, really, truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Chad, he's talking about us. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do. Like a day job. And now, the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game next starts when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There is still one more setting that I'll that we need to adjust, but it may take a lot of time before I'm ready for that. It's not really my in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. Gamers, it's time for the epilogue. This is what we've worked for this almost six hours. This is what this has all been leading up to. The whiteboard ending and then the, f the epilogue ending. Uh, so, Shiny, since you weren't here earlier, there's another ending where you skip forward to the end of the world. The end of time. And this is where the epilogue takes place. Everything is, like, everything is gone.
Oh, except for this chair. And these two sticks. I put this one out my bum. Spoilers deeper, what the heck? Nah, I can't play Zero Escape. You're gonna have to tell Al that. I hope you're happy. Cause I am. Mom! Yo, it's that episode of The Mandalorian. If you know, you know. Son! Yo, what's that episode of The Mandalorian? If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, Star Wars. Never change. And here we are. Back at the memory zone. With a special guest appearance. That's right, chat. I took... I took all the precautions in the world to make sure this happened. That I wasn't the only one here at the end of time. Hello, old friend. Wait, where are my stickers? That's weird. There's no stickers on it, but it will immediately apply once I pick it up. Weird. I'll allow it. Only for you, Bucket. Only for you. No sticker. <laughs> Why is the no bitches meme really just made it be like, no anything, just the funniest thing to me. What, enjoy watching you search doors? Well, there's plenty of other games that I could do that, Deepro. The... Hey, nice Spongebob reference. Oh, I'm stuck. I was actually stuck for a second on that. I can't go back up, can I? No. Not anymore. Cookie Nine's Wog. Review. The Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game tea with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fanbase. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? I care. I know it says who cares, but I care about the hole. Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get uninspired side quests collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be, a quite, to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve from... S something else. I don't... Piss Order 0999? Hello? Wait. We need to talk about sequels. Review the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Cat Dog Born. I regret nothing. Wait, he stopped. Uh, wait, wait, wait. He, man stopped uploading for like 14 years and came back? Huh. Wild. Jim. Stanley Parable developers, no more spin-offs, no more sequels. S success in 2013. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. I'm not reading all that. Reading is difficult. Do I see lights over here? 
Jim. Jim, 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 Jim. Jim. Jim, 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 Stan, Jim. Stanley. 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 Wait, who's this? This must be Gibbs or something, but I can't say my wit. Well, I think I know. I'm not. I'm not too sure who the dude on the left is, but I think the dude on the right is a dude. Stanley. Could be wrong. I have to press these buttons. Jim. 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 Jimothy. Ah, yes, and the collectibles. Good times. Goodbye. <laughs> I certainly did not expect to get to 26 out of 6, that's for sure. My favourite thing? Thank you for enjoying the new content. Oh! Ow. Hey, the two doors again. The two doors is a choice. Oh, I get it, Shiny. It's a joke from that show I haven't watched. I tried to watch it. I don't know. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable. Game. <clears throat> Did you read the what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. No, that's just if you win, so. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that's what the narrator's problem... That was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact... Let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really... We, we also really need a really dumb sub dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. I don't know, I like pocket full of ice. Pocket full of cheese. <laughs> half employee, half cheese. A daughter cheese, a daughter bomb. No more birthday party. Oh, there's so many, like there's, there's such lackluster ones, but then the ones that are good ones, Yes, I was about to say, like, the thank you. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it is raining. Sick. Spectacular. Half employee, half birthday party. No more ice. You get ice? Look, McDonald's drinks are already watered down as it is because they don't know how to change the syrup and clean the pipes. Spectacular bot. Yeah. A door to octopus. A door to ice. A door to thank you. Stanley Parable 3. Half employee, half octopus. No, half employee, half bomb. I think I... Oh. Stanley Parable 3, the ice. Oh... <laughs> I think I have to go with half employee, half bomb. I think that's the one that really speaks to me the most. A 
It's absurd. I love it. You don't give like any specifics. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Crabbles will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Any more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have say as well. Good. Then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. Let me quickly check if I actually have that. What is it showing in my OBS? Okay, good. Nothing. Oh. Well, either way, I'll do that. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you that broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let me fix it. Alright, there. The achievement machine is all fixed. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> How about your side? We're all in this together. What team? Wildcats. We're going to keep this train rolling. Thank you for the bless. Cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's one last thing we need to do. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Crab. <sighs> half employee, half bomb. Yeah, I think that was a real good one. <laughs> There were so many of them though. There were so many good options. And it only took just over six hours, which isn't too bad. It's just, that's just constantly pressing A on the keypad, right? No, I didn't think it was. I can't remember how to get to it. Like, if you want to guide me through it. Oh, that's what that eight achievement means. Because I remember something about the eight button, and that's what I thought it was talking about. Well, no. What do you mean? You literally just said you had all the time to say it, and you said it wrong. What is wrong with you? <laughs> This is there's an Easter egg. I remember something about it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? We never got the phone Stanley either. This is to crazy. The room. Perhaps he had simply missed a. What new mysteries lay in store for our bucket-loving heroes today? Let's find out. Oh, new. Oh, this is the bottom for right. Yeah, that's what, what I'm talking mean? about. New content. I remember that in the original game, there was the A button, wasn't there? Am I tripping? I'm like, I'm sure I remember that. Your fight money? You get no Hello, money. And thank you for playing the Stanley and I get no money either Ultra for this demo. You gotta remember, I played the demo like over 10 years ago. In 2013 Pretty on much 10 computers. years ago. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon I mean, the fact that I couldn't even find, uh, like... Ultra Deluxe. Outside of like guides and all that, like a quick Google search, it computers. didn't tell me how many endings this game had. So the that was Stanley just Parable Ultra Deluxe features the exciting new weird. content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please yeah. step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful.
I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Wait, Stanley. I've just now realized. That bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This this makes no sense at all. See, the thing is with this, is he like... Oh, never mind. Hold it's going to hurt my head. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. Sag. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Sag. <laughs> Time to restart my save data. The infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? The giant Stanley, door? None of them are ready yet. I'm still developing them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? The giant door? What is he talking about? I'm glad I'm not, I'm glad I'm not the only one that caught that just there. What is he talking about? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Huh. It's probably just the usual like narrator shenanigans type deal. Wait, if you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes, you carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating new content that I promised. I did it! I win! I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable! Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you. Clinging tightly to the bucket. Never I think it's just it something go. that, it like... One. It means I am victorious like, it's over not the supposed gamers. to be in the it game, but that's the point. The victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 I'll end it off with something that I just love of this game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Gone! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now this, Stanley thought to himself, this is a bucket. I haven't had the phone at and all. It was. It's kind of sad. I don't know why though. Got it twice when you first played. I remember I got the guest, like the blue, the blue hallway, like real quick, like in my first hour of playing. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable. I don't remember about, about the phone, how though. roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. So I was just looking at something. Uh, what was that? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior Taste to a sequel. measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go the in heck? so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable It's got to be this pop now plant, but I don't an understand why. statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, 
I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. What was the point of this? I don't get it. Why was it just that one at the start? That was weird. Yeah, but what's the point of it? Like, I only learned about it before, like, a couple of hours ago, because I heard the noise. I'm like, you'll hear that. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Uh, eat a capsicum. You just have to. Wait. There are two buckets here. How did you get a second bucket? Oh no. The warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, so intoxicatingly wonderful. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? Stanley! Oh, thank God. I didn't lose you. Stanley, the power of two buckets was too much. I had to destroy both of them. I know how much the bucket meant to you, but I couldn't take the risk. I hope one day... You can forgive me. Interesting. <laughs> I know the exits there, but they wouldn't be collectibles, right? Oh yeah, you've already been here. No reason to live. Absolutely. We can't jump into that one. Don't know the bucket. I didn't special. do anything. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you all come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Yay! As you can see, the machine is not working yet. Since what? Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? You've got the achievement. Why did the machine work, Stanley? I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh God! Composure, composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable Shani, you just misspelled bananas. Breathe. Just breathe. That's all it is. You just misspelled bananas. It's all right. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? All of them. Jump circle again. Well, I mean, I have no bucket. The collectibles are gone, so let's see if I can just move on from here, which I'm pretty sure I can. Hey, I can go on that. Wow. Me, when I'm able to do something I expected I couldn't be able to do. Wow. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these... Wait, what? You hate lettuce? I thought you loved lettuce. What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a... I gotta get a few more tries for the phone. 
All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... I feel like I also know... How long was I when the other there? Stanley was born? I'm just checking. Minutes? Days? Centuries? It's... A there we go. Finally, yes. The bucket. Yes, yes, yes. I love that bucket. Hey, Stanley. It's me. Uh, just calling to let you know that you left your bucket at home. Silly. <laughs> it's okay. I'm off to pick up groceries soon, so I could swing by your work and drop the bucket off at... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't your bucket. Wait, whose bucket is this? Well, it doesn't belong to anyone else. I guess they could just, you know... Yeah, I'd really like to hang out with this bucket for a while. Hey, yo, you what? Oh, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, have a nice day at work. I'll be here at home with my bucket. Bye, Stanley. I just got cheated on with the bucket. Some hole on hole action. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had. Stanley NTR cut confirmed. It was this music that played when the other Stanley appeared. But he's not there now. Why? One man, one I was not supposed to pick up the bucket. One chance to seize their destiny together. I need that phone to ring again without the bucket. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. <laughs> and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Okay, deep Stanley breath. hoped that he... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. That's sick. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much. All of his co-workers were gone. No, I what didn't. Did the game mean? did. Stanley decided to go to I the meeting room. I was just a room. Room. simple Perhaps recipient. Perhaps missed a memo. Hey, good looking, how you doing? Okay, it's completely random. It's not due to the m music. I thought it was. It Gas the hallway. Nanny? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Oh, it doesn't stay. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? This? Oh, dude, the guest the hallway again? Watch it, give me the book. Oh. Already this was uncomfortable. I just need that phone to ring because I can't pick up the he bucket. Found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never... Because there's one more Easter egg I want to show off. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did he's something crucial happen injuries. while my senses were turned? He made a... It's so good if it stayed. I mean, I wouldn't have, have to be Stanley away from the, the bucket. Like the oh, the end is never 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 the end is never... Pretty much my head right now. I'm broken. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? It's bucket time. What did you call me? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. It's bucket. I can't believe he said it again. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. 
This is great. It's but bro. It's but are you just gonna keep saying that? I'm pretty sure he's he's just gonna keep saying that now. All of his co-workers were gone. Also, what, what if I could do the gas to hallway Stanley and just... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. It's buck. Yeah, he is. Let's, let's click to menu and then go back in. Beamy. Half employee, half bomb. All bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? The Morbius Stanley thing? It's to to the Morbin time. Perhaps he had simply missed him. It's bucket time. More, more of a alert. Scanning for more heads. What have you done? All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. There was no the shot. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh my god, the phone. Please just Stanley ring. Decided I just to go need to you to meeting. ring once. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, it was a tweet, Shiny, that's, that literally just said, it's Morbin time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, not to mention the Stanley have decided sex. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, so you weren't asking as if... Stanley decided to go to the meeting. You weren't aware. Perhaps you were asking it in like a... Like sort of rhetorical way, I guess? Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. I literally cannot even fathom this. No shot! Absolutely no shot that just happened to me. I've n I don't even know the odds to this. What's this? Uh, so shiny. This blue All room right here. This is gone. the only way to get what the whiteboard ending. Stanley but this, but it's spawning in like this has never, like, it is a rare chance. And for it to do it twice in a row like that, that's ridiculous. Especially when I'm not even trying for it. Because it, it, I don't know the percentage chance of it. The it's the same yes, with, like, the phone be. here, Stanley, just Stanley to appearing to over here to the side. On, he would never be alone ever again. Like, every time you boot up the get, like, reload the game, it might seem the same, but there are slight differences. There's a chance papers could be all over the floor. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh my god! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. It Perhaps mirrored. Simply missed a memo. Yeah, see? Look at that. Like, it did something that's also pretty rare, because I rarely see that. Thank you! The shiny. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. So now that we restart, boxes, boxes. How long was I sitting there? Stanley boxes to himself. Minutes, days, centuries. Boxes. Did something <laughs> crucial happen while Stanley? my senses boxes. were turned? Stanley. Boxes. Bucket. It's bucket time. Boxes. I can't even get over to a waiting input. This is so sad. <laughs> But no, this is what I was aiming for here, just to get the boxes, like that phone call. Just boxes. What is that? What does that say? I can't even try to read that. Boxes. Alright gamers, 
I think that's going to do it for me. I need food. I want to relax. Honestly, I might just go to bed. <laughs> Good show. Yee. It was. So, I understood that reference. Hey, my hat. <laughs> so, what were you saying? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Leo, I appreciate you all hanging out. This was a fun stream. Um... I had to take the time to set up double monitor, so God knows if I'll bother doing another PC game again. Because I wanted it to fit the full stream. Last time I streamed this, I had a lower aspect ratio, or like resolution with the game, and it didn't fit the fit the uh, resolution on my monitor, so it was weird, etc, etc. But anyway, I'm going to go get food. I don't really have anyone in mind to host. I'm just going to let nature take its course with the auto hosts that don't exist anymore. E but, uh, if I'm not live tomorrow with Unleashed, I'll be live, live the day after. I'll start doing Hundo and all that other stuff. Maybe something else. Who knows? You'll have a good one, chat. Bye.